We're live! Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We're coming to you live from our studio here in... It's chilly. It's a little yeah. chilly out. Chilly South Florida. Uh, but bring you another episode of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. Uh, but first and foremost, who are we? I'm Matt. I'm Josh. And we would like to point out that this stream and all of this week's streams are sponsored by Mask of the Red Death by IDW. Currently on Kickstarter, they're probably about, what, a third of the way through their campaign? Something like that. Uh, 33.33 repeating percent, right? Or a third, one of the two. One of the two. One of the two. Uh, so go check that out. They have kicked ass and taken some names on the first couple days of the Kickstarter. Yeah. So they're, what, about four times funded, something to that effect? I haven't checked it in the last day or two. Pretty, pretty but they're, good they're doing well. And uh, if you haven't had a chance, go check out the Spotlight session we did on Monday on Video On Demand on either Twitch or YouTube. Yep. So, quick recap. What happened last time on Twitch Plays Kingdom Death? We fought a level 2 butcher. And how'd we do? Did pretty well. I think we kicked his I ass. I think we kicked his butt pretty well. Like, I don't think he hit us once. I think we got some bleed. Oh, we might have let him hit us once. A few times. Yeah. Uh, but, nah, he wasn't bad. And then uh, we uh, fought against uh, level 1 Sunstalker. How'd that go? And we just destroyed it. We riggedy wrecked him. Yeah. yeah, like, I... I'm sorry, Sunstalker. Yeah. And they didn't give us the resources we wanted. And then we're like, wait, he's dead? We didn't get our salt. Yeah, we didn't get any salt. It was kind of bad. Um, we rolled three at locations, so he hit you once. So we are on our way to fight a level two Sunstalker. In the pre-stream, uh, in the pre-pre-stream, actually, we made Josh the Sky Harpoon. So he's no longer rocking the uh, the White Lion uh, spear. So the Sky Harpoon is a 255 yep. spear. What's kind of unique about it is it has reach 3. Yeah. Uh, it's Savage, which is the first time you crit on an attack, you do double damage, mm -hmm. or you do an extra damage. Do an extra damage. And uh, finally, it's got this really odd ability, which is once per showdown, you can uh, attack the monster. Or throw you, it at the you monster. You throw it at the monster. You roll a D6, six, D10. Yeah, D10. On a 6 plus. I pull it towards you me. pull the monster three spaces towards you, and it does an auto wound, correct? Yep. So just imagine, like, me throwing a spear at the guy, sticking it in him, and just pulling this giant Sunstalker. That's kind of cool. Or, like, the Dragon King. Like That's really cool. I like it. I, so, uh, Twitch, you guys are still rocking your Butcher Cleaver. It's a 2-5-5. Five, five. Uh, you got Otherworldly Luck in the pre-stream, so you're now doing Thrill Seeker, Rhythm Chaser, and Otherworldly Luck as your three fighting arts. And I still got my bowman set up. Uh, so without any further ado, that's a little bit more support now. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to be yeah. more support now. Um, he's actually going to—he's on salt duty. <laughs> and, duty, you um, said duty. He's going to be killing shades. Yeah, I'm going to be right back. Is it a quote ten time? Ah, uh, it's quote ten time. It's definitely quote ten time. That's what Josh says. He doesn't want to say it. Um. While Josh is away, uh, a quick reminder, guys, we are in the middle of a sub drive right now, so we have some awesome goodies to give away. Uh, I know we've beat it to death, what we've said, but go check it out for sure. Uh, if you are Amazon Prime, you are Twitch Prime, which means you get one free sub every month, so definitely check that out. And then the regular sub, you can do that. It's not off anymore, but you can still gift subs to people, and that's a nice thing to do. Uh, we are also about... 80 something dollars away, $87 flat away from our next every button giveaway. So everyone's going to have a chance to win that one. And if you are a sub, remember you get extra entries to all of our giveaways based on whatever sub level you are. So definitely check that out. And we will be doing the new year, new games giveaway at the end of the stream tonight. So go check that out and uh, get invested in that. That's also. because I didn't quote 10. The dog was yelling to get into the bedroom, so I let it them in there. wasn't yelling. It was scratching at the scratching, door. Scratching, yelling, same thing. Definitely not the same thing. Look at all those cool emotes. I like the last one the best. It was our, our first, first emote. emote. I'm so happy. Like, I was our first emote. I was like, yay! It's back when it was chubby, Matt. You can't tell. Yeah, because it's so tiny. Uh, everyone's like, I got this one, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dong. <laughs> like, I wonder if Twitch realizes this is just a dong. Yeah, it's fine. It's just... I think it's just this HBK. Like, yeah. Uh, with any, without any further ado, though, I think it is time for us to go on the hunt. So one more time, Twitch, you guys are playing as Lone Salt. I'm playing as Kaka Carrot Cake. Josh is playing as Where's TP? And and they took my gerb. <laughs> Who is actually TP? Um. So Josh, I need some magic, please. Boing. Nah. 
Mm. Okay, I was going to say, we need a sound effect. <laughs> so we got some magic there. Uh, we are all off to the side of the board. We're fighting a level two Sunstalker. Matt, you, you have this camera that moves back and forth. Uh, Why are you moving the board? Shut up, Josh. <laughs> we bought this expensive piece of equipment. Sometimes I forget. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. Oh, God. There is only one person who would dare give me the raspberry. Lone Salt. Get it? Because that's that they're in here. Lone Salt. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got so it. So our usual order of things, I'm going to be going first on the hunt. Josh is going to be going second and third. And Twitch, you all are going fourth. So with that, let's go. So me first. I have a random hunt event. So Twitch, we need you guys to do that. And as I said before, this is Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. So that means that we are going to interact with you guys by having you roll dice uh, for hunt events, attacks for the monster, all the fun stuff. Uh, and you could also redeem points that you have to alter the game as well in the Stream Elements Store. And I'll get to that more later. But first off, we got what? 85. So Josh, what's an 85? Uh, number between 84 and 86. And also between 84 and 87. Right? Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. uh, and they say because you don't um, you don't think about the camera because it always dies. I actually got a new camera. Yeah. We, hopefully it... We swapped it out. Uh, so, test of courage. Lava flows from the eyes of a huge grimacing stone face. Its gritted teeth hold a worn sword. If there are any survivors with six plus courage... I don't have a six courage. I don't either. No one has it. Uh, the settlement. Uh, so that that's it. If no one can test their metal, the group moves on, with the feeling of inadequacy. We're inadequate, Josh. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. People are betting on Kaka. So go. <laughs> 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 People are betting on Kaka. <laughs> oh God. So Josh, this one is your first character. So that's where's TP. And it is black to blue. You notice your clothes have changed colors. This clearly must be the sign that you are near the entity you seek. However, everyone agrees, not everyone agrees, that the colors have indeed changed. Roll on the table. So you roll on the table and you add one because you have otherworldly luck. Roll Nine. Just, that's a ten. If there is a survivor in the group with four or more blue affinities. Yeah. There is. Yeah. I have like a billion blue affinities. Oh, yeah. Because you, I have you, have this, you have Cyclopean armor. So every affinity is every color. Uh, you now lead everyone right. Oh, God. You, oh, Jesus Christ. Skip the next read. hunt space. Yeah. Cool. So you skipped the. Oh, but I want the next hunt space. Can we see what it is? Nope. No? Okay. Nope. So we're going to skip that. And uh, now, Josh, it is your second character. So, Josh, your second character is. Uh, they took more gerb. And you got objects of desire. The survivors see a tree in the distance, reaching up from the horizon like a degenerate, gnarled hand. Players may nominate a survivor with three plus courage to investigate. If they do, add the lonely tree terrain card to the showdown setup and roll on the table. Do we want to fight? Do you want another tree? Not really. Honestly, I don't want to do another tree. So just random hunt event. Yeah, so we're gonna do a random hunt event there. So chat, please roll a D some or it's a just a roll. Just roll. Roll, roll. chat. Uh the charms are from uh Stone Circle. There's a red, blue, and green charm. Yeah. Oh yeah, those would work well with the Cyclopean armor. I didn't yep. even think of that. Yep, they all can be easily activated. Which one would you do? Um Cyclopean armor with a spear. And the blue charm would be a good spear chopper. Oh yeah. Uh, chopper. Especially if you get master. So they rolled an eighty seven. Right? Yep. Weeping faces. Water flows from the so, wait, eyes. Wait, wait, wait. We just had lava face. Yes. Crying lava face. Now we have weeping faces. Yeah. Okay. Now we just have crying face. Uh, water flows from the eyes of the surrounding stone faces, gathered in, gathering in a small pool. Any survivor may consume from the pool and roll a d10. If they have three understanding, add two to their roll. There's no reason to do it. Yeah, that's like beginning of the hunt, and it's not good. Why not blue? I mean, it does just take two gear grids, and it's a lot of stuff. Um, green is undeathable, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna we're we're not gonna drink because it's it's really there's no point. So it's over to Twitch now. So Twitch, you guys are gonna roll a random hunt event. So please roly poly it. It's pretty pretty uneventful hunt so far. Don't say anything. 
I just did. What are you going to do? Undeathable and undraftable is is nice. 35. 35. I thought I made the font bigger, but we only did. 35. So 35 is Broken Lantern Oven. The survivors come across the shattered ruins of a small settlement. Ashen corpses dot the ruins, disintegrating at the slightest touch. An extinguished lantern oven stands intact at the center of the settlement. The event revealer, that is Twitch, rolls a d10 and adds their understanding. So add a d10. You've got three understandings. I didn't button. hit it. You've got three understandings. So you're going to add three to the result. Plus one. Plus one from otherworldly luck. Uh, let's see what they roll. Seven. So if it, the result is a five plus, it is gain the lantern of an innovation. Already have it. Uh, if the settlement already has this, the event revealer harvests a broken lantern basic resource from the remains. Okay. So, get to add a broken lantern. Can you? That does it get? Does it doesn't say add it to storage, right? You oh no, the card. yeah, it does not say to add it to storage. So I'll put that over here, and then we rolled a six plus. So you are repelled by the ruined lantern horde, but lingering, but linger just long enough to grab a pair of insects scurrying with it. There is close. As you're comfortable, that's as close as you're comfortable going. Gain two varmin resources of your choice. Ooh. Of your choice. So I don't know what, I'm not really familiar with the vermin resources. And chat's already saying eat them. Where did I put the vermin resources? You're a vermin. Look at those nipples. They're Look nipples. at those nipples. Can you milk me, Grad? Call, you say bread? Greg. Bread? So is there any that might be beneficial on the hunt? And I don't believe there's any plus luck vermin. Nope. They're saying get the evasion one and eat it. There is an, an evasion one, the nightmare tick. Okay. And we get a plus accuracy one, plus strength. There's the crabs, which give you plus three survival. Yeah. There is the hissing cockroach, which should remove all your survival and gain 2d10 insanity. Meh. And you need to consume it if you are insane. And then there is the lonely ant, which swaps out your insanity and survival values. Hmm. They're saying evasion and accuracy. I, I think I agree with that. They want to eat them. I mean... They want to eat them. Could cook them at some point, but they just... If you cook them, do they get better pluses? They're permanent. They're like, you get the plus. Like, there's oh, no really? risk, I believe. Oh. Well, and if you cook it with salt, I believe you also get plus one strength with it. Oh, shit. We'll hold on to these, then. I didn't realize that. Uh, we'll hold on to those. Uh, evasion, if you have the satchel, get an ant for the Slenderman fight. Accuracy is not worth death. Nope, but it becomes guaranteed with the satchel. Okay, that makes... I didn't know that that was the way that yeah. it worked. So we're all going to move forward, and guess what time it is? Overwhelming darkness. It's everyone's favorite overwhelming darkness! So chat, please roll a d10. Josh, you roll a d10 too. Matt, you roll a d10. Other Josh, you roll a d10. Your other Josh now. Do we get plus one to this too with other really luck? I would believe so. I rolled a ten. I rolled a one. But that's a two. two. That's good. Uh, so chat rolled a six. So starting from the bottom up, I rolled a one, so that's a two. You punch yourself in the face to chase away doubt. Ow. Gain plus gain minus one accuracy token. So I'm gonna gain a minus one accuracy token. And we're all on the path of the brave. Yep. Uh, so Josh, you rolled a four, which is actually a five, right? Yeah. And that is a massive whale swims overhead. Your gut quivers uh, with its booming cries. You vomit in fear. Blech. Keep a brave face. Gain minus one evasion token. And after this event, all other survivors gain one survival from your bolt display. We're all at max, though. Uh, so then Twitch rolled a six, which is really a seven. And that is... Uh, with your lantern held high, you cut a path through the teeming darkness. Suffer one event damage to your arms. So please give them one arm damage. If they got one less, what would it have been? Uh, if they got one less, it would have been the minus one evasion token. Do that one then. Oh, because otherworldly luck's one. optional, right? Yeah, it's optional. Because yeah. you get the you get whale get or whale. W h a l e. It's swimming. Is that whale on a, the whale's not whaling? No. 
to swimming, and you rolled an 11, which is you emerge from the darkness with a new perspective. Gain the leader fighting art. I don't want leader. Oh, that sucks. Get rid of Rhythm Chaser, I guess. Yep. Can't wait for future Sky Whale Monster. So we all progressed. That actually wasn't a bad overwhelming darkness. So we've got one more Hunt of Aid spe Hunt of Aid space left. So this one's me, right, Josh? Uh, so question about tokens. Do you cancel tokens when you get plus one and a minus one, or do you keep both? You keep both because there's stuff that Removes tokens. Tokens. Right. So you can spend plus one strength tokens uh, if you've got, was it, uh... Red Fist? I think Red Fist, you could just spend strength tokens. Yeah. I, I think you could even spend negative ones to yeah. do it. There's stuff that turns negative tokens into positive tokens. There's a lot of cool stuff. So definitely want to keep both positive and negative. Yep. Uh, both so on you and the monster. Got the Salted Dream. Well, Matt, your dream. It is my dream. This is my event. So the event revealer happens upon an entity busily sculpting with white ash. It pauses, opening its maw to flash its work with light. Suddenly realizing they are dreaming, the event revealer may wake up or continue the dream. You're dreaming. Rhythm chaser. I need to check the text on that. Why is that? If oh. it's on the part or the beginning of the showdown. Oh, that's true. I think it's the beginning of the showdown, but we'll double check that. So I'm going to continue the dream. So I'm going to roll a d10. Well, the death die. Uh, I rolled an 8. So that's a 6 plus. You awaken, warm and cozy. You can't recall what happened, but you feel braver. Gain plus 1 courage. So I'm going to gain plus 1 courage, and that's going to make me bold. So I got bold during the hunt phase. So that is going to give me prepared, which is add hunt XP to your roll when you were the straggler. Right, Josh? Yep. Okay, and then I am going to do the bold event. So yeah, it's I get on to... arrival, not on the part. So, bold. <coughs> I rolled a four, so I'm going to gain plus one understanding. Damn, I wanted a higher roll. Is that your plus one to the roll, too? It's a, yeah, it's a four through seven. Okay. Oh, no, Matt's going bald, getting bald. Yep. What? Losing all the hair. Huh? Instead of bold, bald, bald. What? They said bald. I don't understand. Instead of what? Bold. Oh, they... bold. Oh. Bald. I. Yeah. Okay. Matt's just. Matt's, we just lost Matt. Having an off day think. right now. So that is the end of the hunt. We are about to fight the Sunstalker. So Joshua, please help me set up the Sunstalker board. As I break everything. That's not where the monster goes. Yeah, actually going to keep it like that because he has a very odd thing. A uh, very odd shut-up. The baby on the show. I'm ask if we're going to try to do the black bean, bean token scan if the situation arises. Yeah. We don't have anything that would willingly give us bleed. But if we get into a point where Josh has a couple bleed tokens on him, we might purposely put him in the trap. So uh, I've got the columns here. There's your acanthus, Josh. I've got the columns. <sighs> oh boy. So are you excited to fight a level two Sunstalker? Oh yeah, baby. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> really, Josh? Uh -oh. oh yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, baby. It's like I have this almost memorized at this point. Almost. Not quite. Well, the shades will give Josh bleed. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to try to tank some shades and actually take hits for some reason. And we are ready to begin. we got one pair of bandages, guys. Yep. And it's on Twitch. Yep. Because um, Matt's going to be running on the other side of the board, playing with himself. I sure am. Getting the salt. Well, I might, in the very beginning, I might use my gloom arrows just to weaken them up a little bit. But So, we've got the... Uh, founding Stone cast by Lightning and Lace, and that is going to be our... No, don't. Ow. That's going to be our uh, Monster Controller token. So Josh is going to start out as Monster Controller. Uh, we are fighting a level 2 Sunstalker, so he's got all the fun stuff of a level 1 Sunstalker, uh, with the shades and the solar track and the uh, the sundial, but he also is going to gain the Living Shadows card. So what's Living Shadows, Josh? Uh, when he solar flares, he's going to Shadow Darkness. Excellent. I did cheat and took a little spoiler at it. It's a really cool secret fighting art. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah, it's really cool. That's really cool. 
Um, There's a roll with it, but... <clears throat> uh, after every solar flare, perform Shadows of Darkness. So he's going to spawn shades after every solar flare. And with that, it is the beginning of the showdown. The monster is going to go first. So, Josh, let's get that first AI card. So he's going to do Dazzling Beam. It's pretty. Furthest survivor adjacent to a survivor. That's interesting text right there. So that is going to be either myself or Twitch. Right? He doesn't move. Attack target and all other survivors in the blast. Oh, okay, so he just stays where he is? Yes. That sucks. This cannot be dodged. I gotta ask Twitch to. They've got the most dash. evasion. If it's targeting Twitch, they can also dash and like not use like any survival. Because they were gaining survival, so then they want to be adjacent to me when it blows up. Oh, okay. So I want to take the hit too. Yeah, and they could dash easily. So let's yep. let's do that. Chat, let's see if you guys are going to regain that survival. And Josh, please move them the five spaces. I'm a fire my laser. He's going to shoop to whoop you. Shoop to whoop. That also gets them closer to attack him. Yeah, that is true. Uh, six. Uh, they rolled a six, so you are going to keep your survival. And now he's going to attack Twitch. It is going to do two speed for 2 plus accuracy for 4 damage. Uh, he's going to roll 2 dice. And Twitch, you guys have 5 evasion, so it hits you on a 7 plus. So, 7 plus. I mean, that's decent. Yeah, the only thing is they can't dodge it. Yeah, this is, this is, a, this is actually a really rough B card. Right? Yep. 2 and a 1. Oh, okay. He missed. Very badly. He's not very good at shooping the whooping. So that is the end of the monster's turn. It's now our turn. So, they uh, don't have reach, right? No, they do not. So they can't really do much. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. No one's. I can't. You can dash and shoot. Oh, because my my arrow is not yep. cumbersome. That's right. Um. So yeah, put me closer to him, please. And then I'm going to roll to see if I regain my survival. Do you want survival. to go the full five movement? Yeah. So I keep oh, my survival. That? Where's that? Oh, I got it. I it. I and now I'm going to attack with my claw head arrow. So the claw head arrow is one speed, six plus accuracy. I have two natural accuracy, so it's a four plus. It's an eight. So I hit the monster. Please give the monster a minus one accuracy token. Okay. Let's see evasion token. Go away. So... Um, I need to draw the first hit location card, please. So I'm attacking the Prismatic Gills. Uh, so I have six strength, two natural strength. So that's an eight. Uh, the monster has a toughness of 12, so I need to roll a four plus to wound the monster. So let's see what I get. A seven. That is a wound. So Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. All survivors within... Uh, two spaces of the monster shit suffer bash one damage and knock back 12 well shit whatever I guess I won't be the target of his next attack yep. um, so I'm going to take grant like one damage so that's really not a big deal uh, one damage to my hands oh nothing strong hand Josh is my strong. Oh, but then I lose my fucking evasion from really Three chaser. spaces. I thought this is a two. It is, but it's um. That's the solar track. It's the solar not track, not the monster the level. level. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, level. Oh, on level one screen. So, thank you. Um, it is a level shit. two. I lost my evasion from my other rhythm chaser already. That sucks. It sucks, but you're not. I'm not going to be in the fray. Yep. Hopefully. Hopefully. So I did do a wound though, so that's nice. That's most importantly I gave him the minus one evasion token. That's that's my biggest fucking I have to do this. Okay. So it is the end of my turn. So can you you're well, yeah, you can reach him with your stupid spear. I can. <laughs> Josh has the uh this the sky shark sky fucking sky harpoon, thank you. Yep. Uh which gives three range. You can attack from So I will I can dash. 
dashing to the monster, are gonna punch him in the face. So, oh, are you slam a jamming? Slam right up. So, it doesn't hit him because you're not adjacent. It doesn't hit him because I'm adjacent. So but I don't get the knockback one and toughness one. But I also get to... Get plus two strength because you're using a spear while you slam. And I can move one space also. Yeah. So let's just... In case he... Because he has those cards that might make him move away from you. But I could still do one more space away from me because I have range three. Yeah, but if he gets two of them... Yeah, I'll go in. So I'm going to get plus two. Yeah. What is your accuracy? Uh, it's five plus... Four plus three plus with the minus evasion token. Three plus solid. And you roll an eight and a ten. Do you get anything for a perfect hit? No, you no, don't. No, I do not. All right, so. That's a blood card. Fuck you. <laughs> You've got the boiling mirage tentacle. It's it's pretty looking. You attack an image projected onto a sheet of water. Archive any soluble gear in your gear grid. So you're gonna lose your monster grease. That really sucks. It's easier for me to get bleed tokens. <laughs> sure. You are in the light, so you're going to suffer one, two, three, four damage. To your body. And then move the monster two spaces directly away from the attacker. Can cancel all hits now out of range. Well, you're still in range. Still in range. So are you glad you moved? Yeah. Okay. Screw you. So you're attacking the Brilliant Mouth now. So if you are attacking from the light, which you are, suffer minus five strength when attempting to win this location. So it's going to be 17 toughness, essentially. Your weapon's five, five, so that cancels it out. Six, seven, eight, nine. So you need to roll an a nine plus. That's kind of rough. That's a two. two. So that's a failure. You don't, you don't win the monster. Tried. You tried. Gosh. But now, Twitch can actually go attack. I can. So why don't you move Twitch to the uh, the monster? And uh, let's let's beat him up. So Twitch, you have the the butcher cleaver. It's two speeds. We're gonna roll two d tens. Uh, you have five plus accuracy. You've got one natural accuracy, so it's a four plus. And then the monster's got a minus one evasion token, so it is a three plus. So a three plus will hit the monster. Let's see how they do. A 5 and a 10. So you don't get the, the perfect hit stuff anymore because you got rid of Mighty Strike. Uh, but you did hit the monster twice. So, Josh, give us the first one first. I'm do this one first. Okay. It's a failure. It's minus 5 strength, but yeah, this is a reflex, and it's the same thing that's going to happen. So you your weapon has 5 strength, uh, so that cancels out with that. You've got 3 natural strength. Uh, so you need to roll basically a uh, nine plus to wound the monster. Three! That's a failure. The attacker is slapped by a tentacle. They suffer four damage, knock back 12, and gain a minus one accuracy token. That sucks. <laughs> Doing good. We're doing real good. So they're going to get a minus one accuracy token, which yep. kind of blows. So you don't get the benefit of my minus one evasion that I gave the monster. And uh, Twitch, that's kind of the end of your turn. Can I hit location guard, please? Yeah. So who's up next? Um, Are you going to encourage yourself up with your other character? I'm very limited on survival, and it's not much my other character can do right now. They can attack, can't they? Green's in range. If I dash? Yeah. That's our DPS. It is our DPS. Oh, yeah, they lose the evasion token, too. So please reduce their evasion by one. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah. Rolling for the four damage. Sorry, guys. Brain fart there. So uh, please roll it, Poli. Knockback does stop on the board edge, but you ran into green. So... Stop rolling that one. <laughs> Just roll. Exclamation mark roll. Body. Body. So they're going to take four damage to the body. So they're going to have a light wound on the body. Uh, I never updated their armor to be three at each location. Yep. So you can do that now. 
Are you going to go and dash with your... Are you going to stand yourself up and dash with green or no? I think I may. Okay. So I'm going to stand you up. I'm going to reduce your survival by one on your red character. So I'm going to move you one, two, three, four, five, and then you're going to dash. So it's one, two, three, four, five. No way to get into that fucking butt. No. So please reduce your survival. I'm going to... I'll do that for you. So you are attacking with what first, Josh? Uh, did you give them a light hit on the body? I did not. I would suggest attacking with your rib blade first. So light hit on the body. It's a five. That's a hit. Uh, so the rib blade is a six plus, right? I have one accuracy, minus one evasion. Yeah. So. And you got and the trap I get, card. I get plus one accuracy. You got the trap card. I hate you. Trap card. Vomit Kaleidoscope. All survivors are doomed to tentacle grab the attacker and places them in a free space in front of the monster. So you get to go over here. Oh, yeah. Save and switch. Yeah. Uh, so each row of the vomit zone stops in the first space. Uh, you are going to take four damage to two hit locations and then gain the Black Blood Survivor status card. Rotate... Uh, place all cards from the solar track into the discard pile and rotate the sundial 90 degrees clockwise. So, Josh, please give yourself four damage to two hit locations. We're starting this off really good. Body, body. No, not shade time because he didn't solar flare. So, that is only on the solar flare. So, you're going to take eight damage on the body? That's a severe injury. Wow, that's amazing. That's a five. five. So a five on the body. Joshua, what is a five on the body? Hopefully not death. Not, not something horrible. Destroyed back. Minus two permanent movement. You can no longer activate any gear that has two strength. Don't you have unbreakable? No, this character. I thought you did. Who has unbreakable? All right, so I have destroyed back. Yep. So you're, you can't activate either of your weapons anymore. How do you fix that? Um, just die. Just die. That's pretty awful. And a bleed token? And a bleed token. So that's the end of our turn. I'm assuming you don't want to attack again to punch him? No. Wow, that's really bad. Well, with the Cyclopean armor, you would still be able to punch it for sharp? Yes, in the butt. Okay, so you actually still can do I some get, damage. I can still do damage. Okay. I'm not completely neutered. Yeah. But, um... It is starting off really bad. Yeah, it's not starting off well. So it is the end of... I'm assuming you're not punching, right? You're not? No. Okay. No. Um, oh, I took a heavy injury. I'm knocked out anyway. Yeah. And then it is the end of our turn. So it's the monster's turn. So monster controller passes. So Twitch, you have the stabby stone. Uh, no, his gear grid has the cyclopean armor, blood paint with two weapons, and a lock charm. There's no room for Acanthus. Yeah. Um. Okay. So AI card, please. So cosmic heat. This is a trait card. When this comes into play, perform shadows of darkness. So we're gonna get shades now, right? Yep. Yay. Okay. Which way is the sundial facing? Uh, down. Okay. Please set up some shades. Okay. Uh, then, at the end of the survivor's turn, any survivors in the light suffer... <laughs> to damage, at least. Oh, God. And then, when there are no shades on the showdown board, discard this card. So, we, we want to get rid of the shades. Yep. So this, at least that's the end of the monster's turn there. He doesn't do anything else. Uh, the shades are all going to activate now. They're going to move towards the only threat, which is the standing survivor, which is red. Yep. Shades have a movement of four, right? Two, three, four. Right, Josh? Yep. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay. It's our turn. We're all going to stand back up. Yep. Arise. Arise. <sighs> uh, then do trap, but red needs the black blood. Right, red as unconscious yep. fighter. Yep, that is correct. Should not 
should there not be two shades behind the pillar closer to the camera? Only one shade. Uh, it don't, it only goes in one spot for every terrain tile. It doesn't go in all the spots. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's now our turn. Red, do you want to do something? I'm going to shoot this one. I'll I'll go first, I guess. So I'm going to... Would you say I have line of sight on this guy? I don't have the I don't have range anyways. So I'm gonna shoot this guy. Two speed. Uh three and a nine. My weapon is a seven accuracy. It's that bad. Uh so it's a five plus. So I got one hit. So Did you erase my survival too? I didn't. You did. You updated oh, it. Should, oh, you whoops. wrote a seven. Sorry. Um so I am oh boy. Attacking the shade. I need the shade card. Um, what What's their strength? Their toughness is going to be nine. Toughness is nine. So, ugh. Need to roll a six, seven, eight. So, I, uh, no, hold on. Five. So, I need to roll a four plus. Five. That's a wound. Okay. So, shade's dead. And I gain plus one survival, but I'm at max. It doesn't really matter. Um, huh. This goes away. And then I will dash. So I'm going to use a survival. Go one, two, three, four, five. Do you want to go hide in the shadow? Uh, yeah. So take damage? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. Uh, I forgot about that completely. And that is going to be the end of my turn. So who's next? Joshua? You have to talk a little bit. I'm just thinking of what I'm going to do. Where's Twitch? Twitch can attack that one shade, right? They can. And then they could dash into the shadow afterward. Yes, they could. Okay, so Twitch, we're going to have you attack that shade. We're going to need you to roll two D10s. Uh, your weapon's a 5 plus. You have one accuracy, and it's going to be a 4 plus to hit the monster. He could have, but if he did that, he wouldn't have been able to move into the darkness and would have been screwed. Yeah. And he wasn't really in range. Yeah, it wasn't in range, so it would have been able to... 5 and a 5. 5 and a 5. That's two hits. Right, so two d10s. Two d10s. You have five strength plus three natural strength. So anything so but a one. Anything but a one. Unless you roll two ones, which would be awful, terrible, horrible, no good, very bad. What they roll? Three and two. Horrible roll, but enough. So you are going to gain a survival. You're at max though. So I would recommend dashing to the pillar now, so you don't uh, get injured by the stupid thing. So please roll a d10. And see if you regain your survival. And Josh, you can go ahead now. You can run over here and just double attack these. Oh, you don't even need to move. To I can attack, attack one of them. One. Yeah. So you rolled uh, one and an eight. So that's one hit. Uh, your weapon has three strength. Right? Five no, strength. five strength. You've got two natural strength. So it's a seven. You need to roll two plus. Seven, that's a wound, so kill him. Increase your survival by one. That's a nice thing. And what else are you going to do this turn? And they rolled a five, so they are going to lose their one survival. Okay. Uh, they think it's slightly too fast now. Slightly too fast? I will update that. Yeah, so next later. stream, we'll have that updated. Um, and the cooldown for dupes is to make sure we don't spam. That's that's true. So what next? So to get in the shadow. Um, you can go to the salt. So I'm going to go here. Yep. I'm going to surge. And attack the shade. Yep. So you six and a six, two hits. That's a wound. You killed him. So you regain the survival. Yep. And then I'll dash. And then you'll dash over to the salt. So now I'm assuming you want to go with green. Yeah, I do. So you can just hit the Sunstalker and then hide in the shadow, and then next turn we'll clear out the shades. So the best place to hit him would be the butt. Best place to hit him would be the butt. But I can't get to the butt unless I get to the shade. You cannot. Oh, you, you're that's the derpy survivor. Yeah. Shit. Like, I, I can't wound him, like... Yeah. It's a crit to wound, like, right now. It's so not... what is the effect if you're not in the shade again? It's going to be 
Uh, one, two, three damage. No, two damage. Two damage. Two damage. That's not that it's bad. It's not horrible. You could take it. And then I'm going to get attacked by Shade, which isn't great. Right. But I don't think that's a... Yeah, so I need to dash to get to the butt, right? Correct. Okay. So you would go one, two, three, four, five, one, two. So you're in the butt. All right, so reduce your survival by one. Yes, yeah, so those shades are guarding the butt quite effectively. <laughs> All right, so it's typically seven plus for fist and tooth, right? Uh, or eight plus. Correct. Eight plus, right? Eight plus. In the blind spot. Seven. seven plus. Minus one evasion. Six, Six plus. plus. I have one evasion. Accuracy. Accuracy. Five plus. I have plus two accuracy for my armor. Three plus. Three plus to hit with my fist and tooth. That's ridiculous. Oh, he's broken back. I have minus two. Oh. Damn it. Damn it. I forgot about well, that. Well, no. Uh, that's fine, though. You still had enough. You moved. No, you moved seven. Moved seven. Damn it. Shit. Well, shit. Thanks, Chad. Could have almost used my reroll to change that severe injury. Yeah, and then you reroll to a one. Probably. Um, that is an awful one. It is. Uh, just hide me behind the pillar, and I won't use any of my survival. Okay. So I'll put you here. Yep. Because that's one, two, three, four. The shade could still get you. So I'll put you to the closer one. So you get. Into I can the... only. I only have three movements, so that would be as far as I can get. Oh well, you don't want. Yeah, you're not dashing. I'm not dashing. Okay. There's no reason to dash. So that's the end of our turn. Mm, yeah, I am going to surge. And check the AI cards. Mood. Yeah. When this comes into play, perform a basic action, and then when Solar Flare, discard this card. The bubble bursts, blanketing everything in darkness. Places survivors and monster in. Their starting areas, as shown in the showdown setup, and then each survivor gains bleed tokens. Two bleed tokens. Two bleed tokens. Ah. That's not bad, and it gets rid of a, a wound for him. He's probably going to do this, though. Like, that's going to happen. And then the other one is a, a an intimidate card. So what would you prefer there, Josh? Personally, what would you prefer? The pre this this is nothing. This is he's not going to do anything. Okay, so it's the beginning of the monster's turn. So he's going to do presence of the sun. So intimidate all survivors. Each survivor rolls a d10 and adds their courage. So T uh, Twitch, please roll a d10. You have a courage of trace. So you're going to add three to your result. I have a courage of three. I rolled. I rolled a five. So that is an eight. Josh, what'd you roll? Uh, six and a one. Six and a one. Okay. And one person that. And chat rolled a one also. So they're gonna they're gonna fall. Okay. So you and Chad are gonna fall. You hide your face, turning away from the cosmic light. You are knocked down and suffer four brain damage. Uh, so it's green no. or red that fell. Do they have stalwart? Uh, they do indeed have stalwart. So they don't get knocked down. They don't get knocked down. So uh, what is what is you, Josh? A green, but I also have stalwart, so I don't get knocked okay. down. Okay. The one bad thing here is they're gonna take four brain damage, which means that their insanity goes down to one, and they're no longer able to activate their axe. Okay. So, because it is sentient, so that really sucks. Uh, so then, myself and your other character, Josh, uh, you we are standing. So the glory of the sun fills you, illuminating the deepest folds of your mind. Gain one survival and suffer uh, zero damage to your head hit location. So we both gain a survival, which is nice. Yep. And that's it. Yeah, that's, so you guys are in a little bit of a pickle here. This is rough. Rough. <laughs> And uh, now we get that guy back. There you go. And the shades are going to go attack. So one shade is going to be able to get to you. And then he's going to move towards the closest threat, it says. Yes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're both eight spaces away. I'm going to move you closer to red yeah, so fine. that red has a better opportunity. One, two. Uh, do we have an alternative weapon? Yeah, fist and teeth. Fist and tooth. So... One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm in range to hit him now. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Fist and Tooth is your only alternate, unfortunately. You do have bandages and a Dridocanthus, FYI. So that is nice. Um, so I'm going to get attacked by that shade. It's going to roll 2d10. So chat, please roll 2d10s. What six, is their accuracy? 7, 8. It's 
can hit me on eight plus. On an eight plus. No. no. Nine plus. Nine nope. plus. Yeah, nine plus. So, chat, please roll low. Two and an eight. So, two misses. Two misses. I'm good. So, nothing happens from the shade. I didn't put anything in the camera. Uh, can't the screaming antelope guy scream to give us insanity? Yes, I can. Ooh, I didn't know that. I can. Um, so, I could try to punch it. Punch the shade? But. But what? I need to roll a nine or ten to kill it. Because uh, that's Fist and Dude. I have no full. No, I have two strength. So it would be a seven plus. You could do that. It's not. It's not ideal, but we need to get him off the board. And no one else ideal. is close to doing it. In the meantime, I am going to. Um, I'm going to dash. No, I'm going to surge. And. Whatever. I'm just going to attack the damn thing. <laughs> uh, I don't use my survival. I hit it once. Uh, so I rolled a 10. I don't get anything for that, right? No, I don't. Nope. Uh, and then how much toughness do they have? Nine. Nine toughness. Weapon has three or six. I have three. Is it six? No, they have three. I have two, so it's five. So I need to roll four plus. It's a two. Shit. I don't, get, I don't use my survival again. One more hit. Wound the monster. So he's dead. I gained my survival. So I'm, I'm still at max. Okay. And I'm just chilling where I'm at. Okay. So, so if red, I'm going to collect the salt. Hold on. What? Yeah, collect the salt. Doesn't collect make sense salt. for you not to. Collect the salt. Because I'm there. I'm in the darkness. In the darkness. And uh, then I'm assuming you're going to run over to... Yep. There. One, two, three, four, five... You have to dash. Well, you no. might you might not have to dash. Why don't you try attacking the monster, the the shade with green first? Because if it's able to kill the shade, then we don't have to worry about being in the sun. I'm gonna walk back and forth, so I activate my shadow walk. What? No, I, that doesn't do anything for me. You're attacking with green. So I get plus one accuracy. Two accuracy. It's an eight plus, so it's a six plus. Six plus. It's a three and a ten, so you got one hit. Do you get anything for perfect or no? Nope. And that's a crit. So you kill the shade, gain plus one uh, survival. That's a nice thing. All the shades are gone, so that mood card goes away. So you can discard that mood card. Right? It's, start, it's still going to discard to here, right? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Um, cool. Cool beans. Oh, this is here. I put this in the hit location deck. Okay, so that's there. Um, I'm going to take a step forward. Um, yes. What? Yeah, move me a step closer to the button. Just one? Yeah. Why? He's probably going to move. I can't reach his butt right now. I, if I dash, I can reach his butt. Right? Yeah. So I could spend two survival. So you can dash and surge with red if you want to. I can also dash and surge with green. Right. Let me dash and surge with green. Okay. So you're going to go into the butt with green. And you are surging. You're a fist and two thing. It is eight plus accuracy. Uh, you've got one, two accuracy, three from being in the butt, four from the minus one evasion. So it's a four plus to hit the monster, right? I have, you got my three accuracy. What? I have three. You accuracy. have three natural accuracy. Plus one accuracy from this. Plus one accuracy from when I shadow walk into the butt. Right. So plus then one natural accuracy. That's three. Plus, plus the two, minus, minus one evasion. That's four. Plus the blind spot, that's five. Oh, five. So it's, so it's a, a three, three plus, plus of my fist and two. Jesus. Math. I get plus four strength, because I'm attacking from the blind shop. And sharp. And sharp. So I could still do damage. Fingernails. Four and a four. Two hits. Two hits. Trap card. No trap card. This one. Okay. Um. Damn. Okay, never mind. 
So you're attacking the cosmic stalk nipple first. So for, wait, wait, hold on. What are you rolling? I'm rolling black and the white. White is sharp. Okay. So at uh, two you tens. Rolled two tens. You crit it. You crit, crit the it. shit out of him. So wait, here. does that mean that that one ten is for the crit there? No. Okay. Uh, so roll a d. Uh, roll another d10. What's your courage? Uh, three. Yeah. So it's eight. Nothing happens. Uh, but you do crit the monster, so please reduce the monster's life total by one. Wish it was a resource one, but good job. And now you are attacking the brilliant tentacle. So you are in the light, unfortunately. So you are going to suffer minus five strength to this location. Uh, so the monster is essentially going to have 17 toughness. Fist and Tooth has zero natural tough, natural strength, right? Yep. You've got two natural strength. You need to roll a 10. Seven. Seven and a two. Nine. That's nine. Plus four. Oh, I forgot you have the plus four. So nine plus four is 13. 13. 15. 15. Not enough. It's close. It's very close. <laughs> Not bad for Fista, too. Way closer than I thought you'd be. Yeah, 15. Uh, the attacker is slapped by a tentacle. You're going to take four damage, knock back 12, and gain a minus one accuracy token. So four damage to my waist. And you stop. You don't go very far, actually, because the, the salt is right there. Okay. And that goes away. So red can still go now. Uh, minus one accuracy, right? Yeah. Like. That's not a big deal for me. If yeah. I'm attacking from the butt, that's yeah. like minor. Uh, so red, are you gonna go? Or are you gonna insanitize Twitch? So how does that work? I spend um, an activation. Activation. Um, all insane survivors gain plus one movement, while all others get plus one insanity. Plus one movement for that round. Yeah, until the end of the round. Okay. So that can actually help green yeah. out a little bit. Um, I can only do that once, so I can't get them to be insane. Once per turn. Once right now. Once right now, because I already right. activated. I can't check the hit locations either, so maybe you want to do one now and then one next turn. And then you can still move and attack. I'm going to get the salt. Yes, that's a good idea. Yes. solar flare. Yes, he is. That's a good idea. So you need to you need to dash... And so you're going to spend two survival to do it. Yeah. Okay. So you spend two survival and you collect the salts. So we're going to end the salt resource. So we're good. We're good. We're, we got the salt out of the way. It's very salty. Yes. Super salty. Salty chocolate balls. What are you doing? I'm looking for the salt. You're not looking very fast. There you go. Uh, and I was also trying to think of what we can do here. So, the next... No, we did the damage, so we don't know what the next card is. Right. I surged already. Twitch hasn't gone. Twitch hasn't gone. So, they've got Rawhide. They might as well check. They haven't... So, they can check. Yeah. So, let's say, let's say they check. So, uh, which one's the lesser of two evils Both there? of these are going to go on the Solar Flare. So, he is going to Solar Flare. Why are both... Of, oh, okay. e Either, like, whatever Well, yeah, card. he's definitely going to Solar Flare, but which one... So... Yeah, Josh has a lot of Unicorn shirts. Yeah. Wait, so now that we are sane, we are trying to attack with our hands. That doesn't sound sane to me. No, you're not actually... Like, we really don't want you to attack with your hands because it would be almost impossible for you to wound him. Josh has the ability to give you guys plus insanity as the game goes on. Also, we don't want them to move. Wait, does anything rotate the sun, though? So this is this targets all survivors in darkness. Okay. Which they can move out of. You're also in darkness though. It's really nasty. Is it? Okay, so don't put that on top. I can't move. This is tentacle whip for the survivor in darkness. That would be me. Or Twitch. Or Twitch. What does it do? Well, wait, yeah, he would, this. but would he break the stone column when he's trying to attack me? He would. Let's put put me on top. I'll take it. But then you're going to suffer four damage from... Solar Flare? Solar Flare. I can take four damage as long as it's not to the same location. 
Uh, this is going to be three speed, four speed, four plus accuracy for four damage. Bash bleed one knockback twelve. I'll take it. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'll take it. Like, if having one more shade isn't a huge issue, you could just shoot at the beginning of the round. I mean, the shade's not going to hurt you. Okay. I'm okay. just saying, like, I okay. think... Because I've got two, three... I've only got three evasion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, give it to Twitch. Twitch will take it. Twitch so, will take it. I think technical whip. Um, at that time, once the monster moves, green can't get... Technically, it's going to be two extra shades, Josh. Because Twitch is going to get bash. Assuming they get hit. They're going to get bash, and then it's going to free up a space for the... The percentile is going to rotate first before it happens. Oh. So it's going to come up over here. It, that doesn't really matter. Oh, but that means I could I can dash during that time frame to block off that location. If there's no flow in that... Yeah, there's no flow to oh, okay. dash. Never mind. So I'm just trying to think out loud here. I'm just trying to think. Green can't get into... How much damage is it? It's, it's going to be four damage. Four damage. So I can either... You can dash with one of the two, with one of them to... to put the other one in shade. Yeah. And Sunstalker does not cast He does shadow. not cast a shadow. No one died yet. No one died yet. So... And this is Lantern Year... Lantern Controller moves. Uh, 17? Hello, Lynn Valentine. Finally catch your live stream and not video on demand. Hello! So I'm going to be Monster Controller, and he's going to be doing Tentacle Whip. So Tentacle Whip is the furthest survivor in darkness... <laughs> Jesus. Um, and then he is going to attack. So four speed. So chat, please roll four d10s. It is a four plus accuracy. You've got four evasion. So it's an eight plus in order to hit you. Hopefully it misses. Mr. Slash misses. Oh, I like the roll with the exclamation points. So that is an eight, a one, an eight, and a seven. That's two hits. Four evasion, yeah, that's two hits. Two hits. Uh, so you're going to take uh, four damage to two hit locations. So let's see where they're at. We will be able to dodge one of them and give them bash, bleed one, and knock back 12, Josh. Looks like you give them the bleed. bleed. Okay, so I'll give you guys the bleed. And what did they roll? They, they rolled the waist, waist and the arms. arms. So they've got just give it to it's the arm. It's going to be a light, injury, be a light injury, so give it to the arms. Okay. So I am going to give them a light injury to the arms. And uh, you've got your bleed token, you got your knockback, all of the fun stuff. Um, that's the end of that. So that's the end of the monster. Now that's going to go into his solar track. And what happens when it goes into his solar track? Uh, he's going to perform... Uh, Solar Flare. All survivors... So I would have... Let me dash with... A, yeah. Uh, where are you going? Here? Uh, no, I gotta go on the other so side. So it... When it, when does it do Solar Flare? Right now. Right now, and then it... So it's gonna, you're gonna go here? Yeah. Or who's taking it? That's actually the better question. So you've got Dry Decanthus on red. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. And you got more armor on red. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, everyone in the light. So, it's going to be red and twitch. It's going to take four damage. Okay. Red's also going to get knocked down. So, red will get knocked down. So, twitch is going to get four damage to a random hit location. To the freaking waste. Uh, I just lost my dry to Kansas. I thought you ignored waste. Oh, that was the other character. Or, you, or my you body. Get, I you get, get plus one, but uh, whatever. Um, do we not have a raw hide set? Should we roll to recover survival from the dodge? Oh, yeah, they do have a yeah. right. Yeah. Sorry about and that. And I didn't even spend the survival yet. Uh, head. Right, so they're taking... A heavy on the head. So roll a d10 to see if you regain your survival, and I will give you a heavy head uh, box. Um, cool. That was... This is awful. We're not doing well right now. They their survival. Yeah. This is a big owie. Okay. So now he's going to spawn some shades. Sundial rotates first, right? Yeah. So Sundial's going to rotate, and he's going to spawn some shades. Shade over here. Shade over here. 
And it's only in the terrain darkness, right? Yep. Okay. I'll put that right there. So now they're going to activate. Shades activate. They're going to move towards the closest threat. Yay. So we need this shade to attack me. So we need to roll two d10s. What's the shade's accuracy, Josh? Uh, shade's actually six plus, so... I've got three evasion, so it is a nine. That's awful. And a... Oh, really? I'm a ten. You dodge it. I, I could dodge it. It's just, like, the fact that I have to spend a survival for a friggin' shade just kind of... I mean, I'm at max survival, so I guess it's really not a huge... You're huge just gonna shield. get it back when you hit him. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. So that's the end of the monster's turn. It's now our turn. So <laughs> I am going to... Do the same doohickey. Uh, uh, where are you still knocked out? Stalwart just prevents you from getting knocked down from brain trauma and intimidate actions, not yeah. from heavy hits or anything like that. So I'm going to dash or whatever. You know what I'm doing. So I'm going to use a survival for that. Okay. I rolled an 8 for some reason. I went up instead of down. That one shade is showing a lot of butt on stream. That one shade is showing a lot of butt on stream. Which, which one? one? Over here. Oh, yeah, she's got the booty. She's got booty. Uh, so now I'm attacking the monstra, or the, the shade, rather. Uh, seven plus. Got two natural accuracy, so it's a five plus. Six and a ten, so that's one hit. And the one. Fuck you in the face. Um, yeah. Cool. So I'll do that again. Using a survival. Regaining my survival. Attacking. Two hit, one hit. <sighs> Wound. Okay, so he's dead. I get my survival back. Okay. F off, Shade. Uh, can you encourage Twitch up? Uh, I sure can. So I'm encouraged Twitch? Yep. Okay. Uh, I regain my survival, so Twitch gets up. They got knocked down, but they'll get up again. Uh, and let's have Twitch encourage Red up. So Twitch, we're going to encourage Red up. Please roll a d10 to see if you regain your survival. Uh, and then what do you want them to do? I don't... They can't use their weapon. Not yet. You can possibly go and um, get them to a point where they can use their weapon. I am going to I'm gonna scream. <laughs> I hate you so much. So you're going to increase their insanity by one. And then uh, we're all going to get plus one movement till the end of the round. Not Twitch. Everyone else. Everyone else. Whoever right. is insane. So now you can actually run with green to go attack the shade. That was... That okay. That's part of my plan. So now you're attacking the shade. The shade is facing you. So what do you need to, to uh, accuracy wise to hit the shade? Just give me a second. Brain. Two. Um, I would have moved red with me. Move me like five spaces closer. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay. Four and two. That is not a hit. Plus one, two, yep, six plus. Is it six plus? Mm -hmm. So how much accuracy do you have? You have one accuracy. Two accuracy. Two accuracy. Okay. So you are, are you surging? I'm. I'm gonna surge with where's TP? Okay. Get like the guaranteed hit in. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, seven and a four. Two hits. Two hits. You definitely killed him. Yep. So yeah. uh, increase your survival so you just don't spend that one survival. Yep. Um, unfortunately, can't really do anything else. T chat should check the AI deck here, right? That they should. Uh, they didn't use their action yet. They could also grab the Acanthus they're on. The Acanthus would be nice because then they could heal their head, right? I don't know. I'm just putting something out there. Perfect. Why is that perfect? Each survivor less than six is courage. That's all of us. All of us. Retreat gain two insanity. Oh. And suffer knockback 12. Oh. Okay. Directly towards the survivor's starting board edge. So it pulls us all closer to the monster, too. Um, red would collide with... The Sunstalker. Sunstalker and get knocked down? It's fine. I'll encourage you back up. I don't care. Yeah, that's not a big deal. That's fine. That's good. That's actually a great card to have up there. Cool. Uh, so that is the end of all of our turns. Um, does Do they want to surge to get the Acanthus? Might as well. So we'll have you guys surge to get the Acanthus. D10 to see if you regain the survival. 
Uh, and then we'll request another D10 afterwards to do the Acanthus roll. And you don't get the otherworldly luck bonus with that because nope. it's during the showdown. So what happens here? They regain their survival. So they gain two survival. Nice. Uh, and so that means they get plus one. Uh, and now this is for the Acanthus roll. So they're at six survival now. It's nice having that uh, Thrill Seeker. Uh, I want to know how much Fen charges for this Unstalker. I don't know. Uh, that was very nice and gave it to us. So. They rolled a 7, so that is an Acanthus, I believe, right? No, it is not. Oh, it's an 8 plus? It's an 8 plus. Ugh. Uh, they consume it, you gain 1 survival. So they're going to gain 2 survival. They're but they're at, max. they're at max. Um, right, that's not too bad. So that's the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. Monster controller is going to pass. Ow, it's my boob. <laughs> <laughs> it's my boob. Uh, so let's draw that AI card. So what happens first is the Cosmic Roar. So intimidate all survivors, all survivors with less than six courage. That's all of us instinctively retreat. Each gains two insanity. So everyone up your insanity by two. So Twitch, you are now insane, which means that you are able to activate your weapon. Uh, and we're going to get knockback 12 directly towards the starting survivor's board edge. But you're already on the board edge, so you're not going to move. Uh, red's going to collide with the monster and get knocked down. And then green is going to go... What's 12 spaces? Probably into that column. And column gets destroyed, right? Yep. I'm also going to take damage, though. I That's fine. Getting One damage. Of, getting rid that... of the columns is very nice. One damage to... Uh, the pinup is a shade. Are you going to take a severe injury on the body right yep. now? Five. Broken back again. And so nothing happens. I got bleed token. Yeah. That minus one accuracy? Um, no. Minus two permanent movement. You're down to can, one. Can movement. I record? Can I? No, can that be recorded twice? Um. Once. Oh, uh, once. Okay. So, just the bleed token. Yeah. Okay. That's that's not that bad. Not too bad. Um. um and I'm also not going to take... No, I'm not going to get... You don't slide down the no, wall. No, I collided with it, so I'm going to get knocked down. Yeah, you don't slide down the wall, guys, because you are... It says towards the starting survivor's board edge. Yeah. You're already on the starting survivor's board edge. Yeah. It, it had a direction to the knockback, yeah. so... Otherwise, yes, you would typically... Well, it's going to go up here. Okay. So now the shades are going to activate. They're going to move four spaces closer. He can't get close enough. Nope. And that one moves closer to me. Cool. And that's the end of the, our, of the monster's turn. It's now our turn. So, uh... You guys don't stand up. No. I am going to attack. Can you? I mean... I will, eventually. Uh, yeah. Green got free movement, essentially, which is nice. So I'm attacking. That is one hit. Four, five... Yeah, that's enough. So I wound... I kill it. Okay. I gain so one survival. survival. So I'm at max yet again. Can you encourage one of my characters up? Sure can. And encourage one... Whichever one you want up. Uh, can you have Twitch encourage the other one up? So Twitch, please roll D10. You're going to encourage the other one of Josh's characters up. So I'm assuming you're attacking and moving now. Right? Right. Right? Right. I'm going to slam with red. Come on and slam. If you want to jam. I'm going to move at least four spaces. One, two, three, four. You've got reach three, so you're fine. I get to move a space with them. Yeah. So I'm just going just gonna to go there. That's probably not a good idea. Why? Because if he, if he moves away from you then he's going to move into green. So, so I would move back this way. Okay. So it still gives you the ability to be closer to him, but if he moves Makes away sense. from you, he goes closer to Twitch. It's a two and a three. Five, four, three, two. Oh, cool. So that was tricks. lucky. <laughs> uh, you also... Oh, is it the trap card? Yeah. It's a character we want to get it on. It's a character we want to get it on. Put him in front of Twitch. Put him in front of Twitch. Just sucks. So you are doomed. You are going to get vomited on. So you're going to take f four damage to two hit locations and gain the Black Blood Survivor status card. So you took four damage to? The body and the feet. It's your body and your feet. Yep. Ooh, that's a severe body injury, huh? That is. Oh, no. Oh, no. I get a broken back here. That's a broken back. You had to say it. 
Destroyed back, a sharp cracking sound, suffer minus two permanent movement. You can no longer activate any gear that is two plus strength. This injury is permanent, may be recorded once. Gain one bleeding token. Question for you. Can yes. you still activate that weird one-time permanent ability on this guy, Harpoon? Yeah, because it's not an activation. Yeah. So I, I can. Guys, how do we fix broken back? I almost tempted to use my reroll for this. Up to you. I would have used your reroll for the hit location die then, no? Maybe not. Uh, we don't we don't run away here. We don't run away here. It's too late for that though. I don't does I don't think bad Did we innovate bad? I don't think we innovated bad. I don't think we innovated bad, but I don't think that it, it heals broken back. If it does, then it's not too bad. No broken arm, hip, and rib. That's that sucks. Reroll, I guess. I'm <sighs> do it. He's useless right now. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. Three, two bleeding tokens. That's, That's perfect. Perfect. That's actually perfect. <laughs> so you will now have three bleeding tokens because you're gonna gain one from this attack. No, no, you're not. No, I thought you did. So sun, uh, the, that goes away. Sun, this card in the sundial goes away. And uh, silk surgeon for, with spediculus, which we don't have. End the game. How many? Oh, three more blood, blood tokens to go. Put this down when you're done. Let's put put it down when you're done. Don't overshuffle, because then you're going to throw off the juju. Okay. Uh, red has two. Two what? Uh, bleed tokens. Yeah, two bleed tokens. You need three more. Yep. Uh, okay. Cool. I am going to move five spaces. Well, I'm going to move closer, and I'm going to collect the Can acanthus. Go already? You killed the... I did. I surged for one of the things. Okay. So you're going to so, search for this? Yeah. I'm going to use my survival, and then I'm going to search the Acanthus. Whoops. A two. I get an arm damage, right? All right. Yeah, green should be up now. I get an arm damage, right, Josh? What do you roll, two? Yeah. Yep, that's one arm damage. Fantastic. This is going great. Doing fantastic. <sighs> and this goes away, right? Or no? Yeah. Okay. Who's next? Green? Um, can you get to the butt with green? Two, three. You can if you dash. Yeah, I guess I'm dashing. Dashing to the butt. Eh, I can't. I'm doing this off of, like, the camera. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So you're in the butt. So what do you need to hit? One, two... Three, four. You have you guys should have plus. bets for the trap card positions. Four plus? With fist and tooth. That's funny. And you rolled a seven and a ten. Perfect hit. You don't get anything for perfect though, right? Nope. Okay. So light bending. It's gonna rotate the sundial ninety degrees. Stop hitting the board. Um discard this card without attempting to wound. Nothing happens there. And then the prismatic handed fin. So what do you need to wound the monster? Um, How much strength do you have? Two. Fist and tooth has zero, but you get plus, plus four, four for the blind six. spot, so it's a six, and then you get sharp. Yep. Okay, so you need to roll a six combined with these two dice. I That's crit. a crit. Okay, so gain one sun shark fin. We needed that for something. Oh, that's good. What did we need the sun shark fin for? I remember we needed it for something. My arrows! We need it for my arrows, Josh. So we're going to gain a Sun Shark fin. And please reduce Monster's life total by one. It feels like, feels like it's been a while since I've said that. <laughs> it's been way too long <laughs> for you to have said that. Uh, are you surging? Um, I, I can. Um, let me update the life, though. Okay. Oh, that's the level. The life. Hey, Josh, did you make the Sunstalker spear? He did. I did. And he's using it right now with red. Yep. 
So are you surging? You are? Yes. Four plus, right? Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah. Okay. I'm just seeing if I still get the... So when you shadow walk and attack a monster from its blind spot, the weapon gains plus one accuracy and sharp for that attack. Okay, so you don't get sharp for and one accuracy for this attack. So five plus? Yeah. Five plus, and you're going to need to roll six plus to wound, which isn't bad. Surprisingly not bad. So one hit. You're attacking the Deathblow card. The Brilliant Mouth, minus five strength, so you need to roll ten. Seven. Seven. Nothing happens. Okay. So that is the end of your turn. So Twitch can go now. Assume we want them to... Actually, we might not want to get them to hit the shade. Yeah, they can just hit him in the face. Yeah, so Twitch, we're going to have you run up and hit the Sunstalker in the face. Uh, can you run him to the side, actually? Side? Yeah. They were here? Yeah. Yeah, that's better. So that way, if he gets hit, he doesn't land on top of green. It's a 10 and a 5, so that is going to be two hits. So, Josh, two hit location cards, please. So the Ink Heart and the... Brilliant Tentacle. Minus five strength. Hmm. This one's only a failure. That's a reflex. Gain one shadow ink gland. This one first, I guess. I think so. Yeah. So we're attacking the Brilliant Tentacle first. So it's minus five strength to this location. You've got three natural strengths. So you need to roll a nine or a ten in order to wound the monster. So please roll a d10. Oh, wait, no, it should have been the other one. Why? Because it's more chance to wound? Yeah. No, Sorry. I'm going to gonna switch this out. Sorry. You're attacking the end card. I didn't see the results yet. That's so a five. Um, five plus five plus three. That's actually just enough to wound now. Okay. So they wound? They wound. Please reduce the monster's life total by one. And then reflex. The attacker is sprayed with projectile ink and suffers four damage and knock back 12. If the space they were in is now unoccupied, place a shade in it. So they're going to take four damage? Uh, yeah, they're going to take four damage to a random hit location. So chat, please roll a random hit location. And cancel all hits now out of range. So they, as long as they don't get knocked down here, uh, they could actually dash body. They're going to take a severe body injury. Yep. They have a Dratacanthus. Okay. So, so they're just going to get knocked down. And uh, I'm going to check their box. Okay. And we're going to get a shade on the board? Yep. So you're going to get ganged by shades. That's fine. I can't see. Um, the only thing is now I can't check the AI card. So we're going in blind with this one. We'll deal with it. End of the monster's End of our turn. Now the monster's turn. And red light, green light. Red light, green light. My favorite game. A soft green light fills the atmosphere. Flow. A harsh red light fills the atmosphere. All survivors in the light suffer two damage. Rotate the sundial 90 degrees clockwise. So which way is the sundial facing? That way. The only one that can make it into darkness is you. One, two, three, four, five, so I'm going to dash into the darkness here. I do spend a survival. No one else can make it to the darkness. No one else can shade anyone else. Nope. Well, that's technically a lie, no? If green and red dash. Maybe. Or if green dashes up, they could shade Twitch. If red dashes up, rather, they could shade Twitch. I guess. It's up to you if you want to do that. I'm low on survival. Like, I rather just, I think I just want to take the. Okay. I think it twice, though. That's the second yeah, thing. Yeah, it sucks. Green is in the darkness? No, green... Green is not in the darkness because the Sunstalker does not... That was still the end of the attack, not yeah. permanent. Yeah. This is a rough showdown. Why do we have such problems with the Sunstalker level 2? He's mean. Um, All right, so basically we're going to... You all are going to take four damage twice. Oh, no, wait, no. he rotates the sundial. Yeah, so you're going to take... Oh, shit. You're still going to take damage just once. Yeah. 
<sighs> so we're going to take two damage to two lo hit locations. Yeah, and I'm going to take two damage to one hit location. Yep. So chat, please roll two hit location dice. And I'm going to roll one hit location dice. Die. I need a, a die when you get a chance. The body. It's fine. I still have body armor. Four on body. Body, severe injury, gaping chest wound, suffer minus one permanent strength, gain a bleeding token. That's green. Yep. And red's okay? I haven't rolled yet. Oh, okay. Perfect. So they rolled the waist and the arms. So they're going to take two damage to the waist and Gaping two damage. Wound. Yes. Two damage to the waist, two damage to the arms. So they're going to take a severe arm injury now. Fantastic. So chat, please roll a d10 for your severe arm injury. Arms and the waist? Yeah. Waist, they've got armor, so that's okay. We're having some problems here, guys. A uh, nine. So a nine is dislocated shoulder. You cannot activate two-handed or paired weapons or use block until the showdown ends. Gate a bleeding token. So that doesn't affect you because your weapon is not two-handed and you are not pairing any weapons. So you're fine. And I was fine on my my guy. What'd you roll? Uh, waist and arms, which I had full armor on. So. Oh, okay. Good. Uh, um, so that is the end of that. And now the shades go. So the They shades, didn't take a heavy hit, right? They did, so they're knocked down. So Oh, they're already knocked they're down, so they're fine. Yeah, they're fine. So now the shades are going to move to you, Mr. Red. All and right. so we need four D10s. Four D10s. They're going to hit six, seven, eight plus. Eight plus. I mean, you kind of want to get hit here, right? Yeah. The first two dice are going to be the first one. The second two dice are going to be the next one. Yeah. So seven and five, nine and six. I get one, one hit. One hit. Four... Two damage? Yeah. The hand, I can take that. And you'll get your bleed token. Yep. So you're at three bleed? Three bleed. Okay. Getting there. <sighs> so you need to get... We need can't to get give me... Bleed. Can't bandage me. I got black blood. Yeah. Can't be removed. Well, when you get that thing, it, yeah, no okay. spoilers. It's fine. No spoilers. Uh, so that is the end of the monster's turn, and it is now our turn. Twitch stands up. Twitch stands up. I can't reach. Can you? Yep. So here's the thing, Josh. Yeah. I can glue marrow it here and go for a Hail Mary. Can. Do you want to check the hit locations first before you do it? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to surge to check the hit locations. I don't use my survival, or I regain my survival, rather. So there's a light bending. How many spaces am I? One, two, three, four, five. So he's a, he can move one space away from me. This is a failure. He's going to attack you. Okay. Let's just rotate this on though. Okay. So like they're all... Those aren't bad. I can deal with those. The only problem is if the fourth or fifth cards, if I hit there, are... If you do this and fail, he'll run up at you. And then you can shoot him back if you're still standing. Oh, okay. You're right. Like, so th there's ways to... Yeah. So I'm attacking with my gloom arrows now. So the gloom arrows are a 6 plus accuracy. I've got two, eva uh, two accuracy, so it's a 4 plus. He's got a minus one evasion, so it's a 3 plus. Four hits. Okay, good. So, so give me light bending first. Light bending first. So light bending, he's gonna move I'm not in the you're light. Suffer... Not in the light. Oh you're not in the light. Nope. Oh no, I never rotated. I should have rotated the for a green light red light. You're supposed to rotate midway flu. Yeah. And you were in the and then you were in the light. And then it rotates again, doesn't it? No. So green light it rotated. I moved there. No, and then it rotates again, yes. Okay. Not that that affects me much, but... Yeah. Yeah, so you are in the light. Do you want to do that one first? Or do um, you want to do the other first strike first? Why would I want to do that one first? You can take one damage to two hit locations. Can you take one damage to two hit yeah, locations? Yeah, I'm not okay. going to fall down. Okay, it's just yeah, making sure you don't fall down. Body and hands. 
So I I just lost all of my arm armor. Okay. And then I still have one body armor. So I'm attacking this. He moves one space directly away from me. And then I'm going to roll. So I have two natural strength. Gloom arrows have five strength. So that's seven. Five, six, seven. So I need to roll a five plus still. Ugh, I thought it was better than that. It's a crit. It doesn't, doesn't matter, but it's a crit. All right, so one life down. One life down. So next one. And also that goes on top of the... Yeah, I did okay. that. So the Sun Shark Snout. So I'd like to do that again. That was pretty good. Cool. What do you do? It's an eight. So, oh, wait. Shit, you took the... Because ah! you won't support. I'm sorry. Ah! That's fine. Uh, I do wound the monster still, though. So reduce monster's life total again. And that goes back on top. Next is... Are, are you sure? Yeah. Uh, the Cosmic Stalk Nipple. Cosmic Stalk Nipple. So Cosmic Stalk Nipple is... Uh, I still need a 5 plus to win the monster. It's a 4. Shit. Uh, so turn the monster to face the attacker. I'm not in the darkness, so he doesn't do anything. We opened up some spots for Twitch to hit it in the butt, though, so that's not bad. And then I need the final card. You have the choice of it or not, if you want to hit that or not. It goes on top of the hit location oh, deck. Um, cosmic Spiracle. You send something and may end your attack before attempting. Monster turns to face you. You cannot comprehend it and suffer frenzy. I don't care if I get frenzied. Do you I? You can't use survival anymore if you get frenzied. That's only if I wound it. You can't use your fighting arts. I don't know what... You got it. So it's, if you wound it... It's up to you. You're going to get frenzied, which isn't going to be beneficial to you, really. Yeah. Frenzy's not terrible. You're not going to be to dash and surge and do double attacks. It's 100% up to you if you want to do it or not. I'm going to attack it. Okay. So I, crit. Crit. I crit it, so I don't get frenzied. You don't get frenzied. Even better. High five. Give me a high five. So that reduces monster's life total by one. Roll a d10 if the result is less than or equal to your courage. Four. I've got three. So no. Um, cool. So that's the end of that. We You did another wound to the monster? Yep. It's at nine now. Look at that. So this gets flipped over. And that's the end of my turn. Right? Right. Yep. Okay. So... Twitch. Twitch can run up and hit it in the butt. But or you get frenzied. That top card's the frenzy card. Do you want to run and hit it in the butt with green? That's what I'm thinking. Like, Wait, no. Why? Because then you'll lose the ability to use sneak attack. So is it you can't activate fighting arts or you can't use fighting arts? You have the book in front of you. Yeah. Because it's slightly different. Right? It, you, just next page. Where you oh, at. that's right. You may not spend. You may not use fighting arts. Okay, so you wouldn't get the benefits of your fighting arts. Yep. Okay. I don't know what you want to do there. I could slam with red. Like if he gets frenzied, it's not. I lose my fighting art, though, right? Yeah. And what's the fighting art? That unconscious fighter, the seven bleeds. So oh, would I yeah, lose you, that? Don't, you don't want to lose yeah. that. We don't want Twitch to get frenzied. They're the worst person to get frenzied. Because of... Uh, we um, could just ignore that card when it comes back up, too. Oh, that's true. Duh, I forgot about that. I forgot about that completely. Twitch, go and attack! I'm, I'm going to go first. Tw you're going to go first. With whom? So you're slamming. I go there. My extra move. Okay. Now, I got a question for yes. you. Are you sure you want to do that? Why? Because now you're out of range of the shades. Are we going for that thing? We need to do wound zoom right now. Okay. The shades will 
Okay. Because we're not getting rid of him yet. Yeah. Okay. So you rolled a one and a seven. So that's one hit. One hit. So we know what you're attacking. Know what I'm attacking. I am going to ignore it. I'm not going to wound it. Yeah. I'm just going to discard it. Okay. So now do you want Twitch to go? Or do you want to go with green now? Because you can... You know the next two cards aren't bad. Aren't bad. The last one is going to be the... The, the light, light, speed. light speed. So you want to hit that one with red. Yeah. So one, two, three. Activated. Be in range of shades later. We want super cool fighting art. So a ten and a one, so it's one hit. One hit. It's actually good. So you're attacking the cosmic stalk nipple. So what how much you have plus four strength. Uh, you have one natural strength, so that's uh, how much no two through one natural strength plus four for that so five strength. Five plus, plus sharp. sharp. So you need to roll a seven plus combined a between the two die. Let's crit. Crit. You roll a d10. We keep critting the ones that don't give you fucking resources. Nine. That's not less than your courage. No. Okay. I'm very upset that we we don't get resources. We keep critting the wrong ones, quote unquote. So now is a good opportunity for you to surge and attack with red because the one that's coming up is one that would with the light speed that would force him backwards. Yes. And the problem is he's going to run into green. Yeah, I, I spoiled it myself too, and it is pretty awesome. <laughs> so what are you what are you doing, Josh? Um. <laughs> I like how the dogs come out as enforcers when the cats fight. So Twitch has a speed of two? Twitch has a speed of two. Uh, I'm surprised there isn't a cosmic nipple resource. You no, know, Twitch can attack because they're both first strikes. Oh, so they could choose the other one they first. They choose the other one first? Worst case scenario, they only hit once? Oh, no, Josh. What? Have them run adjacent to green, and then they'll be in the darkness, and that card doesn't affect them. Okay. Right? Uh, I think it's going to... It doesn't rotate. The other oh, one rotates. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Cool. So 2d10s. Roll, 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 roll. Roll, roll, roll your boat. You're rolling a d10. Uh, it's 5+. plus. You're in the blind spot. Minus one evasion token. And you've got an accuracy, so it's a 2+. plus. Six and a 9. 6 to 9. So you're attacking the... Uh, this one, this one first. So if you're in the light, suffer... Oh, no, he then moves, then moves the monster. Oh, yeah, so it doesn't no, do it. So it doesn't do it. So you can still attack. So roll a d10. Uh, your weapon has five strength. You have three natural strength, so that's an eight. So you need to roll a four plus in order to wound the monster. I remember I did see your setup on Discord. And I also saw it on Facebook because you posted it there too. A two. That's not a wound. Okay. It's unfortunate. But there's no... It's not that bad. This one, it would have been worse. Yeah, so this one, you're attacking the Sun Shark Snout now, so we need one more D10 to be rolled. Uh, again, it is a 4-plus to wound the monster. Failure is going to do a basic action against you, which kind of stinks. Methinks you stinks. And the verdict is a 2. What is with these 2s? <sighs> the attack's going to gain 1 damage. Yes. So what's the basic? Do you have it? I, I, have I think it I do, here. actually. Yeah, I do. Um, so it's going to do a basic attack, which is going to be four speed. For four plus accuracy, you guys have two evasion, or four, four evasion, evasion, so it's an eight plus, and it's going to be doing four damage. A lot of fours. Four, four, four. Four evasion. All misses. Yep, all misses. Nothing happens. Go. So that goes away. Do they want to surge? We don't know what the next hit locations are. It's all a mystery from now on. It is a mystery. So, guys, do you want to surge? I used all of my actions already, so we cannot take a look at the top two hit location three cards. Hit locations. Top three hit location cards. Um, so, shout out in the chat if you would like to surge to go again. So, surge, surge... Yeah, roll surge. A to okay, so we're going to roll a d10 to see if you use your survival for the surge, or if you regain your survival, rather. Um, 
That was a decent turn. That was good. Ten. They gain okay. their survival. Do they want a surge to attack or a surge to check the AI cards? There's only one AI card, so it really doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. We can see what it is. <laughs> gotcha. 2d10s. It is going to be a 2 plus to hit the monster. Yeah, now we get a 10. And you got a 7 and an 8, so that's two hits. I like how Josh is super secretive about it. Which one are we attacking first? They're both good. Or they're both not trap cards. Or light bending cards. So you're attacking uh, the ugh, brilliant... Sun. They're in the shadow. Oh, you, yeah, that's so true. So the minus five toughness isn't... A, that so is true. Like, I'm hoping they wound. So it's a four plus to wound the monster. Okay. Crit isn't a great one here, so we're probably going to crit it. Five. five. That is a wound. That's a wound. Please reduce the monster's life total by one. This goes over here. So now you're attacking the Prismatic Gilge. So please roll one more d10. It is going to be another four plus to wound the monster. If you do wound him here, all survivors within two spaces of the monster, which is Ur-1, uh, are going to take uh, two damage or one damage bash and knock back 12. They rolled a two, so that's a failure. Oh, that's actually... That's not bad. Bad. Okay. Okay. Red still has the ability to surge. I only have four survival right now. I don't think it's... Priority. We don't know what the hit locations are. Yeah. If I throw the trap up, he's going to be thrown up on everyone. Yeah. Not That's true. Ideal. Not an ideal. Not, not an ideal. ideal thing. Okay. So I think... So it's going to be the end of our turn and switching over to the monster's turn. So the monster control is going to pass over to green. And let's get that top AI card, Josh. We're taking this, we're taking this nice and slow. Furthest survivor adjacent to a survivor. Furthest survivor adjacent to a survivor. So that's you two. You're the only ones adjacent to each other. Yep. Um, so who do you want it to attack? Twitch has much better evasion than you. I, I, Twitch has much better evasion for me, and they could dash away from me. Yeah. And, and, and kind of take this. So, Twitch, we're going to have you roll a d10. You're going to dash. Um, dash them that way, because then it puts them further away from the shades, and the shades will go after red. Okay. So, I... It's one, two, three, four, five. And that is far enough away, right? Yep. Yeah. So you Nine. gave their survival, they're still at max. Okay, so he's going to roll 2d10s. Oh, we keep forgetting their axe specialization. If they fail the oh, wound, they shit. get to the roll again. That's right. Shit. Okay, we didn't want to... Chat, remind me. We didn't want to re-roll re that one anyways. Uh, but there might have been some others yeah. that we wanted. In the future, now we, we know. Um, it's a 2+, plus. you guys have 4 accuracy, so or evasion is going to be a 6+, plus to hit you. 7. <sighs> 2 hits. Four, four, four damage. damage. So you're going to take four damage to two hit locations. Let's see what the hit locations are, and hopefully they're not too Legs. bad. You will be dodging one. You can't. No dodge. Oh, that's... Wait, why? Dax says, this cannot be dodged. It does? Yes. Oh, Big, bold shit. letters. Oh, damn. The legs. So severe injury on the legs. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. So Just severe one, injury though. on the legs. Let's roll d10. And I'm going to give you guys a heavy on the legs. You're going to get knocked down. Oh, boy. Three. Not dead. Two bleeds? I don't know if it's two bleeds for the legs. Yeah, two bleeds. Okay. You're going to take two bleeding tokens. So you're at four. Yeah, so they probably want to... You're going to bandage they the ba yourself. They have the bandages. Yeah, you're going to bandage yourself next turn. So... And right. now the uh, the shades are going to go. He's still going to go after green. Both of them? This one is. That one is, yeah. Uh, green's going to get attacked. So green's going to get attacked. Chat, we need two D10s to be rolled. Uh, what is their attack? Um, they're going to hit on a six plus. I have two, three evasion. So it's a nine plus to hit green. Uh, six and a two, both misses. Okay. So that's the end of the monster's turn. It is now our turn. I am going to encourage Twitch up. Uh, I do use my survival, but they stand back up, and I'm going to say they're using their action to take their band to use their bandages. Yep. They could 
do their bandages twice, possibly. Um, that wouldn't be a bad thing, because they do have two bleeding tokens still. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. Um, chat, let chat. us know if you want to use your second or action. Or they can go and attack that shade. I am going to check the top three hit location cards. Okay. Light, Light bending. bending. Brilliant sun shark chest and a super dense. Okay. I can dash up there. You can dash to me? Yeah. So I would be in the shade? Right. And then you could attack the light bending and the other one without any issue. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, you're going to... You're not going to... Are you going to slam a jam? No, I'm not going to slam. Okay. I, 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 there's no easy way... I have to dash and slam. Oh, I didn't... I didn't even... You move. haven't even used anything. So I'm going to move up there and I'm going to say, Hey, buddy! Hey, hey, hey. You want to use your two action, two survival to attack the... No, we want to leave the shade there. Yeah. You want him to hit me. Yep. Okay. So you're there. You're hanging out with me. I will just attack. Okay. So... It looks five. like they're saying bandage, leave the shade, people with little survival. Okay. So I'm going to have you guys roll a d10 to see if you regain your survival, and then I'm going to bandage you up. So nine and an eight, that's definitely two hits. Two hits. We know exactly what they are. Uh, first strike, I'm in the darkness, so I'm fine. Okay. And how much strength do you have? Five, six, seven. Seven strength. So I need not, a five plus. Not great, but it's not horrible. Ten. Damn it. Wound the monster. That's fine. Wound the monster. That's fine. Please reduce the monster's life total by one. Now, now to note, he is going to solar flare the end of next turn. At the end of his turn. If we could do a couple more wounds, then. <laughs> Shit. Brilliant Sun Shark chest. Two. Failure. Monster shrieks causing colors to flicker. All survivors in the light suffer three brain, three brain damage. damage. That is fine. No, so Twitch is not going to be able to activate their no, weapon. They're f fine for right now. I'm not worried about them. Uh, okay. So Twitch is going to take three brain damage. And uh, you're fine. Red's not taking anything. Yes. Like the surge and check the top three hit locations. Yeah. Um, what are you looking for? Making sure I took the bleeds off. Uh, so we know that there is one good card up there. Yes. I think you should go ahead and attack with, uh, like, dash with green. I can't get in the butt. I can't. I oh. can't do any damage with them. Okay. Uh, the green is going to attack right now. Wait. And try to hit the shade. Wait. That's all I can do. Wait. What? Yeah. Or actually, yeah, yeah, go, yeah, check that's... the hit location. And see what's. Let's see what's happening. Okay. So search. Nah. Yeah. Or check the sundial. They're three perfectly fine. So here's the thing. If it rotates the sundial, how's that going to affect his solar flare? Um, Is there anything that turns him to face the attacker by any chance? This one. Yes. Put that on top. He'll turn around. Green will be in the butt. Okay. Yes. We can do this, Josh. <laughs> Trying. <laughs> Add quote. I can't get in the butt. Quote 96. So two speed. <laughs> TP should be happy. <laughs> One hit. Uh, you put that one on top, though, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. You know what's going to happen, right? You're going to crit it? Yeah, you're going to crit. <laughs> you fucking crit <laughs> you it. You called it. Grand, gain a random sun. I'm not un upset about that. Gain one random sunstalker resource. Your attack separates a squirmy appendage from the monster. Persistent injury, a severed tentacle. Affects my arcage. Got some small sun teeth. Oh, good. We need that. Sm I need that. Small sun teeth. Okay. So please reduce his monster's life total by one. So. Can Green can't give Twitch two insanity, or can they? 
No, that, that's a red. red. That would they've be already gone. Uh, and, and green, uh, they've already surged and everything. Who? Uh, Twitch, that's Twitch. right. They used all their I'm going to say they, the only thing they do is they move into the darkness. Yeah. In case what I have ready does not work. What does that mean? Um... Green's just gonna do the shuffle shuffle, so he gets plus one evasion. Every time I use a movement, I yeah. get evasion. Yeah. Uh red does not have enough bleed right now. The quiver is not from level three, the ink blood bow is from a level three. I don't have enough bleed, but I'd rather kill the monster. I'd rather kill the monster than have a TBI. This is, this is being a very rough fight right this now. Being very rough. <laughs> so I'm gonna attempt something here. What are you doing? Monster controller moves to switch. It's the monster's turn. It's the monster's turn. Oh, I know what you're doing. Okay. He's going to do Tentacle Whip. He's going to do Tentacle Whip. So, he's going to target the furthest survivor in the darkness. So, that's Twitch. It's Twitch. Flow. Flow. I am surging. <laughs> okay. If this doesn't work, Twitch, then... Two hits. Per two perfect hits. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so you are attacking the Fertility Clasper. Roll a d10. That's a wound, right? That is a wound. You need a 5+. plus. So that's... Please reduce the monster's life total by 1. Okay. Now you're attacking the Sun Shark Molar. So he has two cards in his track. He has one card in play. He has no more cards to discard from. So technically, if you wound here... If I wound here, he will die. Yeah. Credit. Please credit. Seven. Seven. That is a wound. It's Please reduce monster's life total to zero. <laughs> we killed, we killed it. it. We killed it. No one died. And no one died. I'm sorry, Twitch. I couldn't get the black blood. I mean, you're not dead, so we can still try it again yes. at some point in time. Because more than likely, we're going to fight another sun. Wait. Severed tentacle. Severed tentacle. Oh, this was... Oh, he wouldn't have... All Jason survivors are sprayed with ink. They gain one bleed token and one survival. Oh. That's what, what would have happened. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Go back. Rewind. Do you want to rewind? It would only give me one bleed, and then he would do sh Shadow Flare, which could possibly kill people. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, like, the yeah, Shadow yeah, Flare yeah. was like, we're trying to... Yeah, because there's still a flow before that happens. Yeah. Is there? Wait, is there? I don't think that overtakes the whole card. Because I think, still think you do pick target. Ooh. Do you pick target? Because you don't move. Why would you pick target? Up severe injury. Ooh. 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 Severe injury. Severe injury. Location survivor. Oh, no. Uh, that's persistent injury. Persistent injury. Persistent sorry. injury. Element OP. Persistent injury. Uh, special injury found uh, when a monster suffers a critical wound on the location. Uh, leave the card in play. Some persistent injuries modify a monster's behavior while others affect specific AI cards. Oh, we're getting into the nitty gritty of the rules. Yeah, we are. Um, uh, survivors, monsters, blind spot attributes, AI tech damage, monster, monster, luck tokens, showdown setup, aftermath, basic reference card, attack profiles. Persistent injuries. Persistent injuries are conditional actions that replace the normal rules of an AI card. Persistent injury active uh, actions on AI cards are only performed when the monster is suffering from its corresponding persistent. When a persistent injury action is performed, any other actions on the card are ignored. Any other actions on the card are ignored. Okay. So I okay. can't. So we that, can't that, that technically happen. do that because there's technically no flow. Yep. That's interesting. So I can't. So. Yeah. Rewind. The monster is still alive. Monster still alive. Okay, so he's going to do Tentacle Whip. All adjacent survivors are sprayed with ink. They gain a bleeding token and one survival. You're not adjacent. I'm not adjacent, so it doesn't... You don't even get the bleeding token from it, so... Um, green's going to get the bleeding token, though. I'm probably going to die. Yeah, Green's probably going to die right now. Okay. So Solar Flare. All yeah. survivors in the light. Right. So that's Green and you... Yes. ...suffer four damage and are knocked down. That sucks. So, four damage. 
to my feet. I can take that easily. Uh, super body injury. I'm probably going to die here. A nine. Wait. What? Ever reroll? Yeah. Use it on your feet. On on your die. The hands, the hands. I'm okay. Okay. So I'm just knocked down. Can you knock down green? Yeah, green's knocked down. Which is actually beneficial because then they can't be targeted by the shade. So now it's the... Yeah, he's got reach with the spear. He doesn't have to be adjacent. Yeah. So now the shades are going to go. This one's going to move towards Twitch. So one, two, three, four. Not adjacent. This one's going to come attack me. So we're going to need two D10s to be rolled and hits you on an eight plus. Okay. So the monster got some health back, essentially. Yeah. Which sucks, but it's manageable. Four and a one. No hits. No hits. No hits and no bleeds. I am now going to check the hit location deck. We already know what those... We do? We, we... Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Inadvertently. Well, we knew what it was before. Okay. Because we checked it before. I only did one. Yeah. And you checked three. So I know the next two. I don't know the third one. Okay. So you want to attack now with the red? Yeah, just... So the monster should have how much health right now? Four. four. Okay. Five and, and a hit. three. One hit. So you're attacking the fertility clasper. So please roll d10. It's a two. two. That is nothing. Uh, no, no. We retroed the whole thing. So. Yep. I will surge the go again. You can't. Why? Yes, you can because you didn't surge during the monster's turn. Forgot about that. Yeah, I never get myself the survival back, so I'll just. Uh, one hit. Right. Nope, two hits. Two hits? Oh, wow. Two so plus. it's a five plus. You've got one natural accuracy. The minus monster's got minus one evasion, so that is two hits. You're not in the light. Oh, I I am in the light. You are in the light. I forgot to rotate. Oh. Uh, you forgot to summon two shades. Yes. So Twitch would have got attacked. Can you roll? Wait. Why would... Oh, yeah. He would... They're oh, on this. they're here. And I would have got attacked a second time. Wait. It rotates and then spawns the shades? Yeah. Okay, so they were here. They're over there. So uh, both of us would have got that one more time. Okay, so 2d10s. This is for Josh. Whoa. Jesus. Sorry, folks. Sunstalker's a little difficult. Not sure. Oh, I should take a step forward. So one hit. So you're going to take a bleed. I got one hit, so I take yeah. bleed. For... Uh, two damage. To your hands. My hands, that's fine. Okay. So, chat, you're going to roll two d10s. It's going to be attacking you. It's going to hit you on a... Shade hits on a, what, six plus? Yeah. So, you get hit on a ten. All right. Oh, well, I would have said I would attack here, because I would have gone into the darkness. Yeah. For my attack. It will be great if we lost because of the tentacle. It is possible. It's possible. It's very possible. Five, four and five, they're fine. Yep, no hits to you. All right. So, I would be in there. He's not... Light first strike. Okay. So you're up in the butt. He's not going to move. Eight. Eight. That is a wound. Please reduce his bonds of life total by one. Okay. Now you're attacking the cosmic tentacle. So please roll one more d10. Your shades always no, spawn on I'm... solar flare. They do for... Why? What that's the persistent injury. Oh. Uh, they do on a level two because of the trait card. Uh, I forget what the trait card is. It is Living Shadows. Four. Four. That is not enough to wound the monster. Four. It's a five, five plus. Six. Yeah, that's 11. So, Reflex, perform a basic action targeting the attacker. Here's the cool thing, though. It's turned around, so now green's in the butt. Yeah. So, it's going to perform a basic action, so we're going to need uh, four D10s to be rolled. And what's your evasion, Josh? Uh, two could have that. Where'd I put the basic card? Right here. Oh. Uh, so your evasion's only two? Yep. Ugh. So it's a six plus to hit I lost you. my monster grace at the beginning of the fight. Six, ten, seven, four. Three hits. Three hits. Three hits for two damage each. So you're going to take two damage to your body, your body, and your hands. Well, this sucks. You're going to take a severe both. Yeah, three severe injuries. Which one are you dodging? I'm I can't. It's a reaction. 
Oh, Jesus. I forgot about that. Uh, we're going to start with the hands. Eight. Eight. An eight is uh, yeah, lunacy. That makes sense. An eight on the hands is uh, spiral fracture. Gain minus two strength tokens. Skip the next hunt. Gain a bleeding token. Guess what? I have five bleed tokens. I'm not dead. Oh, so it triggers that now. Yep. Oh. What? A, I got... Conquer your shadow, Josh. Pushed to your limits and barely conscious, your shadow confronts you. Grinning desperately, you are unable to tell if this is a delusion or a rare opportunity. Dragging your weapon crudely across the ground, you cut your shadow free from your feet. Archive your black blood status card and commence the grand battle. Josh, roll a d10. Six. Ten. Uh, do we, we have shadow, shadow dance? Okay. Uh, you best your shadow. After hours of combat, you rest and begin to converse with your shadow. It tells you that it spends a lot of time looking up from the ground at butts. After a laugh, your really sh- say that? it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. After a laugh, your shadow shares a secret with you. The cornea is the gatekeeper of light. No shadow can exist behind it. This is why the space behind your eyes is the one place in the world it is fearful of. If it ever landed, if it ever ended up back there, it could never escape. However, since your face, your eyes face outward, this is impossible. The foolish shadow, it shouldn't have told you such a thing. With an evil smile, you rotate an eye until it is looking at the back of your head, trapping your shadow. With your shadow now trapped behind your eye, you feel more confident, as if your self-doubt is imprisoned along with it. Gain the suppressed shadow secret fighting art. You return to the battlefield rejuvenated. Remove all of your bleeding tokens. Yes. And gain three survival. So you're going to gain the suppressed shadow secret fighting art. So suppressed shadow. You no longer cast a shadow and you never hesitate. Ignore first strike. On a perfect hit, your first wound attempt of the attack automatically succeeds and inflicts a critical wound. If you die during the showdown, place a shade minion in the space you occupy. That's pretty damn awesome. I don't get blinded, though, right? No. Okay. No, just, you, don't, uh, you don't get blinded. Yeah. All right. So I minus two strength from that, but... <laughs> yeah, Chad's like, wow! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! I still have two more severe injuries to do on the body. Yeah. And I might die here. Yeah. I'm going to give you my rerolls, okay. Five, Five and, and two. two. It's broken back and death. Well, which one was which? Five was... You, the, but, uh, oh, I rolled... Were, that's Both right. Both bodies. That's why I rolled right. them together. You could have my reroll. Six. Disemboweled. Your movement is reduced to one. Gain a bleeding token. Skip the next hunt. And I have the five. It's going to give me a broken back. Yeah. Unless Twitch wants to give me the reroll to reroll. But that's that. the last reroll, right? Yeah. So Thanks, you. Everyone. We really appreciate Thank you, Zeftis. That's a crazy fighting art problem is that if you roll a one or a two then then yeah. you're just dead yeah broken back we might be able to game away to use it somehow yeah so broken back is what uh broken back is minus two permanent movement you can no longer activate gear that has two plus strength how much strength did the lion spear have three yeah two maybe it had two no it's three all right so Why do you have to be a cripple? They want me to re-roll it, but I'm crippled now. And a bleed. So I got two bleeds. Mm. What? We could heal it by heart fluting a hand. Is hand broken back or broken? It says heal all broken severe injuries. Okay. So someone's got a broken arm too, right? We have two broken backs here. So we'll we'll take out the all cripple team <laughs> to go fight the hunt, to go fight the hand. No bed can't. Yeah. So the hand, I believe, heals all broken injuries at the end. So we'll see. We'll see. So that goes away. I am going to encourage green up. I'm going to punch you in the butt. Take shields. Oh, do you want to? Uh, yeah. 
I'm going to use my action now to check the hit You already locations. checked it. Did no, I? No, 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 you I haven't did. checked it. Yeah, you told me not to. <laughs> Ooh, trap card is next. Oh, these are all horrible. Ugh, shit. Those are all horrible. I'd really love it if you didn't activate that right now. <laughs> uh, can I put light bend in first? Uh, Josh, can you? What? No. Oh. Dumbass. Burn hammer. <sighs> this one I don't care about. So I can put the trap here. So we're going to have to let him go. Yeah. Because I a green can't okay. do anything about it. I can't do anything about it. I can't answer my fucking spear. Wait. How many AI cards does he have left? Two. Yeah. I have, I have an idea. Mm. It, it's... Yeah, I'm, we're fine. You have an idea? I have an idea. Can you surge to check AI hearts? Yes, I can. Use my survival. You jerk. Well, these are fucking both bar horrible. Oh, that's good to hear. You want the Basilin Deem to go off, right? The what? Dazzling beam? Not the dazzling beam. <laughs> Not that red light, green light shit again. That no, red light, hard. green light was awful. Dazzling beam, though. Furthest survivor adjacent to a survivor, then furthest threat. So if you move, it'd be Twitch. Yeah. Twitch can take it, right? Uh, Yeah, they can take it. Not the best, but... Not the best, but they can take it. They've got the best evasion, so yeah. it would be best for them to do it. You also have um, decent evasion. No, I don't. I have. Oh yeah, you have one. Yeah, one last. Yeah. Okay. So you want to move here? Sure. Why not? Move here. That guy can't get it. only one of the okay. shades of go after you. Um. Okay. So Mosh Control moves. Oh, uh, Twitch hasn't gone yet, right? Wait, Twitch hasn't gone yet. Yeah. Have you dashed with red? No, why? One, two, three, four, five. If you go here and Twitch moves here and attacks, they could... They're going to lose their monster grease. Possibly. I can ignore first strike. I could do stupid shit with this character and get rid of those cards. How could you ignore first strike? Oh, you ignore first strike. But you have but there's two first strikes and a trap card. That doesn't really help you. But if I'm if you move back here, yeah. I do all that stuff. Get rid of those cards. You can then move the trap down. I could also aim and attack that one so the one card that it hit affects monster grease. Oh, uh, yeah, you're disemboweled. Okay, so, so I, I have can't no move anyway. anyways. I can aim, attack that one card, and get rid of it, and then we can reorganize the hit location deck and possibly kill it that way. Have an, let's let's have Twitch kill a shade. Okay, so Twitch, or please two. roll two d tens. You attack the one. Wait, why? So they don't get attacked by them. Like, uh, I, I, the, what I'm thinking here, we won't need to. We'll end it. You need the. You would need to readjust this twice because we already looked at them, and that card's not on top. The impervious card you want to get rid of. It's not. No. Oh. Uh, ten and a five. So that's two hits. Roll two more d10s. You're more than likely going to kill it. Yeah, it's... You guys are a blessing, because you remember stuff that we always forget, and it's it's nice to have that sort of extra so reminder. the idea is you would dash back up to here? 
So they wounded it, so they get a survival. They have max survival. Um, you want to move them once? We'll move them one space, and they'll attack this one. Yeah. I'm gonna have you roll two more d10s. Hmm. So what? Do, what's your idea here? So he's gonna do his thing, attack Twitch. This should be fine. The shade shouldn't really do anything. Oh, I know what you want to do. I want you to go here. I can. I could surge in the middle of it, but it's not gonna. You only if if we let him have one more turn, Josh. It's gonna go in the solar track. Mm -hmm. Then when he goes to draw his next card, we can surge, and you only have to do one wound to him. Yeah, but it, uh, there is flows. Um, yeah. And I could also do my sky harpoon. I can still activate the ability. Oh on it. shit! Yeah. <laughs> I just I can't kill him with it. Oh uh, uh, yeah, I forgot to check if you're spending survival. So roll three d tens. The top one's gonna be for your survival spending. Oh no, it should only be two d tens. Bottom one doesn't count. Okay. Top one's for their survival regain, and the middle one is for the wound. Okay. Does that make sense? Sure. Okay. Uh, so they, they wound and they regain their and survival. They, they get more survival and they're at max survival. Yeah, it does so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I still have an action? No, you didn't. No, I don't. Okay. You did not. So it's the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. So the monster is going to draw an AI card and do Dazzling Beam. So the furthest survivor adjacent to a survivor. There's no one. Furthest threat is Twitch. Twitch. So 2d10s. 2d10s. It's going to attack Twitch. It's going to hit him on a 6+. plus. So question here for you, Josh. Yeah. Um, Can I spend two survival to shoot my bow or it has to be it has to be mixed okay so a two and a four both misses okay fantastic so now the shades are gonna go one two three four he's gonna go after me he's gonna go after you so we're gonna need two d10s to be rolled for me uh i've got three evasion shades are gonna hit me on a nine plus Question, so I hit it twice there by accident. Is it going to... No. Okay. 8 and 10. Really? Yep. It's only one hit. For 2 damage each. Or one hit? One hit. 2 damage. You can dodge it if you want. I'm not going to take it. I mean, I am going to take it. Okay. Can you have them roll 2 d10s for me? Chat roll, roll 2 d10s, please. And I'm going to get a bleeding token. Which is okay. Okay. <sighs> Okay, so... Also, I no longer cast Shadows. So that your thought of me... Oh, yeah, that's true. Yep. That's true. So two and a three. No hits. And so that is the end of the monster's turn. It's now our turn. Okay. So, so what are we doing now? I just realized I should probably do that. I think the thought <sighs> is... You do your Sky Harpoon. Just do do the damage? Yeah, do the damage. Is it a wound or a crit? What? Your Sky Harpoon. It's a wound. It's a wound, okay. It's an auto wound. You don't try hit location. Okay. Nine. So you wound the monster. Oh, that was dumb. Can you move up? Why? Put me in the sh put me in the shadow. I don't want to put you in the shadow. So I'm going to move up. I'm going to now check the hit locations. No, we, we know it's... I know the next one. We know the next three. No. So two, the, it's a light. Oh, I forgot. We didn't... Yeah. Impervious and then trap. Away. Okay, so yeah, you're fine. You're fine. I can only punch. You can only punch? Only punch. But if I get a perfect hit, I do an automatic wound. Do we want you to do this? Why? Why don't you attack with green? Um, because I am not in the shadow, so he's gonna... But you attack the other one. You'll lose monster gears, but you don't have any soluble gear, do you? You have blood paint. Is I have that, blood paint. Is that soluble? Yeah, I would take damage from that. But no, you would kill it before you take damage from it, because it's a reaction. No, right? it's, oh, it's not first a reaction. strike. It's first strike. I ignore the first strike. Yeah, because if I if I take any damage from anywhere besides the legs, I'm pretty much dead. 
Unless no Twitch can't put me in the Twitch can uh can't put me in shadow. Green can dash to the side and put Twitch in shadow. Technically. Right? Twitch move there. I moved here, but then I want to be in blind spot. No, but vice versa. This broken back. I can't activate weapons. It doesn't say I can't use the ability on it because it's not an activation. Yeah. So, no. Josh, if green moves to the side and Twitch goes here, then Twitch can attack and they would be in darkness and it wouldn't move away from them. Right? Yes. Do you want to do that? Try. This is getting very complicated for that almost kill cheat. Yeah, uh, that is 100% accurate. So you have to dash. Uh, the Twitch needs to go... Uh, tw oh, the Twitch can go around me? They would go here. I only have three movement. Yeah, so you'd have to dash is what I said. Uh, no, but yeah, they go here. What? No. Look at where the sundial is facing. They have to go behind you. Oh, behind me. So Twitch is going to go here. So you okay. spend a survival. Twitch, you're attacking. You roll 2d10s. You guys have five plus accuracy. You've got two, or you've got one natural accuracy. It's a four plus. It's a three plus because he's got a minus one evasion token. Uh, so two hits. So we'll do light bending first because they're in the darkness. So you need to roll one d10. Your weapon has five strength. You have three strength. That's an eight. You need to roll a four plus in order to wound the monster. Seven! We killed it! Killed it. Oh, Jesus H. Christ. That was a pain in the ass. <laughs> the other card was an engulfing light card. Okay. Which isn't... You can't even attempt to wound it. Yep. So... Whew. Congratulations! Uh, Twitch got the killing blow. Twitch did get the killing blow. Uh, can you switch cameras back? I sure can. Wowzers! That was difficult. <laughs> was, was now we're hard. gonna fight a level three, right? No. No. Right, what, what do we get? Okay. So every survivor that has defeated one or more shade, which is all of us, yeah, all is do. gonna gain plus one courage. We're all gonna also gain plus one hunt XP and a weapon proficiency. Uh, I got spear specialization finally. So what is spear I specialization? I did not get grand weapon specialization because I got a broken back before I can even freaking use the damn thing. Yep. 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 Uh, right. So, courage for everyone as well? Yep, I did that. Okay. And now, we are going to get four basic resources. And how many? Six Sunstalker resources. And one 1,000-year Sunspot Strange resource. So, these are the six Sunstalker resources, right? Mm -hmm. So, we got small sun teeth. So, we can make the arrows, I think. Huge sun teeth. We can make the bow? As long as I get the, the one bone. So, more huge sun teeth. Oh, no. Brain root. Didn't need that. Shadow ink gland. I don't... More huge sun teeth. I don't think I was able to make any of my gear that I wanted. None of it? None of it. <laughs> Four, five, six. Yep. Super D duper. Sun shark. Fans. I think you can make some of it. Salt. I don't think so, to be completely honest. Four basics? Uh, six basics. Six and six? I'm sorry, four basics. You're right. Sorry, I had it backwards. So we got Monster Hide. We got Love Juice. Doesn't come in a jar. Love Juice comes from who you are. Broken Lantern. And Monster Hide. All right. Okay. Uh, we get the one 1,000-year one Sunspot Strange resource. So I had that card over here before. Where did I put it? Let's see. For the quiver, I needed the inner shadow skin, which we didn't get. Uh, for the sun shark arrows, I needed the sun shark fin, which we have, right? Yeah. Okay. So we can make the arrows. And then for the bow, I needed a sun shark bone. The sleever uh, requires a sun shark bone and a black lens. Someone was saying something about that. Um, so what did what was that other random one we got at the end there? The shadow ink gland. I think that's for the Shadow Saliva Shawl. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Oh, well. So now that's we need. That's the uh, Thousand Year. Oh, uh, Thousand Year Sunspot here. So that is 
when you craft with this nominate a survivor, they suffer blind severe injury from working with this resource. I didn't know that. Interesting. So we are going back to the settlement now, which means we're going to need a settlement event, right, Josh? Yep. So settlement event, please, chat. So pull a random one. Clinging Mist. That'd be weird. That'd be really weird. That'd be really weird. Uh, roll a d10. Oh, we get plus one to the result. That is Because we all have... More th plus one or more than plus one? I think just plus one. Two. Oh. No. Doesn't matter. No. That's disappointing. So a two is, where the mist touches your skin, bright red boils bloom into existence. The painful boil leaves survivors desperately scratching themselves. The returning survivors suffer the worst and must skip the next hunt. So we all have to skip the next hunt. That's saying reroll. <laughs> it's their roll. Are they using their reroll or using a random survivor at the settlement? I forgot we I had don't a... think they're at... Th I, I, I would not think they're at the settlement, though. Yeah, they're not at the settlement, given the the way that this is... A two. Still a two. Awesome sauce. So, they use the reroll, and we still have to skip the next hunt. Coolio! No, go away. Go, go away. Go, go away. Go away. Okay. Uh... <sighs> So that's the end of that. What next, Josh? We have eight endeavors. Yes, because everyone had Tinker. Uh, we should innovate. How are we resource wise for innovation, though? Uh, so we got hide. Saying some events are at the settlement. We could try to reroll. So random. let's say that that was a random one instead of theirs. Sure. Okay, we'll do one more reroll. One more. Fine. Take it off of someone that's awful. I don't have any of the survivor sheets in front of me right now, so I don't know where they are. Six. I think it's an eight, nine, ten. Where did I put it? Oh, you give it back to me. Yep. It is an eight, nine, ten. So the question there is, does Otherworldly Luck stack? What's the card say? <clears throat> uh, we lose all survivors of the settlement, so keep doing it. That is true. That is very true, actually. During the hunt and settlement phase, whenever you roll on a table, you may add plus one to the roll result. This may not exceed the highest possible result on that table. I would say it stacks. This includes settlement events. I mean... We could just keep spamming rerolls with everyone back at the settlement because they all technically die anyways. Yeah. Sound like it does to me. But they are not rolling. The settlement is. I, that's another thing. They're not technically the ones rolling. So I don't know because it's not the survivor rolling. Let's just. I'm just gonna spam another reroll. Um, I don't know where any of our survivors are. <clears throat> uh, I put them all over here. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I stole them from you. Does the FAQ have something? I have no idea. I have no idea. A one. But Clinging Mist only really applies to the returning survivors. Yeah, it's it's a weird... I don't know. Five. Are we just going to keep doing this? <laughs> we only have so many survivors. We've done three so far? Yeah. I mean, statistically, it should happen. Right? Yeah. Four. So this would be the last one that Twitch has. Like, the one on Twitch. Because these... I only had four survivors. That were... Really? Yes. That's interesting. <clears throat> oh, timeouts are happening. 
Oh. Oh. I don't know. Are we saying that it stacks? That's I don't like. We haven't really got a I, clear. I think technically, since we're all returning, the four of us are rolling on it together. Yeah. So it would stack. I fuck, think. Fuck it. I'll say it stacks. We're gonna house rule. It's our that game. It, yeah, it's our game. It's it's, it's people to Twitch. Let's so, say it stacks. So. Why not? I think it stacks. I agree with you, Ice so. Chamber. Uh, no returning survivor. No returning survivors must go on another hunt immediately without departing or changing gear grids or become the starting survivors for a new settlement, starting with the first story settlement phase. I think it stacks. Stacks. People saying it stacks. People right. saying it stacks. Chat so, thinks so, it so stacks. Are, are we going on another hunt? No. Or are we starting a new settlement? We're starting a new settlement because we keep all these same resources too, right? Yeah. Just these resources. Though. I know, but these are the ones that. Like, we actually got good resources from the Sunstalker this time. Yeah. Cool. So, <laughs> we go to the first story. <laughs> Any rule against survivors. Always rule against survivors. It's... It's a conf... If two rules conflict? Yeah. More of a guideline. We'll go with that. So when we do that, do we lose anything in the stash? Yep. Yeah, we everything lose everything in the stash. In the stash. So we're gone. starting from fresh. Season five will never end. This is the season that never ends. It just goes on and on, my friends. So we're leaving Narabari's Pleasure Palace. So we're going to need a new s settlement name. We are. Do we have any in a queue or? No, I normally like, they're normally like. One-time buys? One-time buys, like a high price. <laughs> new settlement name, maybe we cheated. Um, so, at the beginning of next episode, then, or or, someone tips twenty plus dollars. Okay, they get the name of settlement. Anything within terms of service? Yeah, within terms, like always within terms of service. Yeah, was it worth it? Yeah, yeah, this is worth. We it. had for the, the characters were cheating the cheat face settlement. <laughs> Leave the mist on the cam. Ooh, it just covers my face. I think it was worth it just because now we've got four survivors. More importantly, we've got gear. It's mostly the gear. Yeah. The the gear. Because someone one of you guys can't depart, technically. So I two of my guys I don't well, this this one can't depart. We'll just make one. beds right away this time, right? Quote <laughs> covers my face. Like, even though with the broken back I could still beat stuff up. Beat stuff up. Oh, yeah. Technically. With green? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're full of green. Green, yeah. Especially because, like, so, like, you can re retool your gear grid completely to make it kind of ridiculous. If you're going to go straight fist and tooth, which you could easily do. I could. I it's it actually be. not a bad idea. It's just the movement kind of sucks. Uh, what we have on us stays on us, gear and what we want. Yep. 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 Everything that's on us. Everything that we're carrying. So we get the two vermin resources. We get the two salt. We get all the Sunstalker resources we got. We get a lot of stuff. Yeah. Let me move this off my face now. All right. So we're going to start the first day story event. And we need D10 to be rolled. We need D10 to be rolled. Chat, please roll D10. So do our current survivors keep dash and surge and stuff, or do those go away? The current ones have it, but new the other survivors won't have it. I think so. I think that's how we've done it before. Well, this, well, yes, this be, is still season five. Yes, still to be season five. Yeah. Uh, so they rolled a two. So we're gonna get six unnamed survivors plus our four returning survivors. So it's a okay. very bare bones settlement. It is. That's fine though. Uh, unfollow, unsub for leaving the pleasure palace behind. <laughs> Maybe we go form a new pleasure palace. Yeah, we could form the next pleasure palace. Nialbari's pleasure palace 2.0. There you go, right? Um, I, I was thinking of something. I just I, it's probably not appropriate. All right, so, so we need six names. So get rid of all the other character sheets. So we've got Lone Salt and Kaka Carrot Cake. This is kind of funny. Thank you, Eberron. Name it lost in the mists of cheats. <laughs> is is that enough to count, Josh? Or? It's technically 16, but if no one else beats it, 
Oh, okay. So first person to 20 will get it, or if no one else beats 16 by the end of the stream, then you're going to get to name it yep. Lost in the Mists of Cheats. Now, Bari's Ultimate Pleasure Palace. Could be now, Bari's. Now, Bari's Discount Motel. I like that better. <laughs> <laughs> now, Bari's Disappointment Den. <laughs> That's what we should name it. Oh, now I Bari's like that. Torture Palace. Now, ew. Uh, so, I got six character sheets here. What are we naming these new survivors? And they're not going to get any of the new swanky bonuses. No, nope, they are not. So, what are we getting? Um, let's see, Mr. Uh, LOL, between it, it was 2040, but I wouldn't mind. Oh. Between it. Was it multiple cheers or something? I don't, I'm confused. Oh, I, when you buy bits, it, I think they cost more than what they, I'm not 100% sure. Oh. Uh, All right. Now Barry's Den of Debauchery. <laughs> I I I will, I'll say that might might as well name it the Lost in the Mists of the Cheats. Okay. Uh, Freezy Pop. Freezy Pop. A female. Freezy Pop. And that's a female, and they get nothing. Lily Vagabond. Lily Vagabond. Female. Vagabond. Female. Next. End of all hope. Aww. End of all hope. Oh, I had to buy two batches of bits. Uh, Female? Yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh. Tiamat? Spell it? T I A M A T. T I M. T I A M A T. Tiamat. Your lucky poots didn't see that questionable cheatiness. I mean, Matt, male or female? Everything's been female. Did we bring back any males with us? Uh, Kaka Carrot Cake's a male. Because <laughs> <laughs> everything I have here is all female so far. How many more names do we need? Um, one, two, three, four, two more. Two more? Okay. What's Tiamat? Female? Yeah, female. Okay. <laughs> Should tweet poots and ask your question. No, no, no. We'll leave it vague. Uh, I'm going to skip over the next two females because that's all we have. Thyme. Spell it. T-H-Y-M-E. You mean time, like the time. herb. That's a man. Pair of docks. Pair of docks? Yes. How how do you spell docks? D-O-C-K-S. Pair of docks. Oh, paradox. I get it. <laughs> You wanted more females. I know, but like we were expecting it to be like the same settlement. Okay, so first Is that day. all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. Return to the settlement section of the first story and proceed to returning survivors. Okay. Uh, story event. Return survivors. Q-R-S-W-V-U-T. Uh, first words. Nominate a survivor. Step forward and gain plus one courage. What do you want to say the first words? Ah, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, Lone Salt. Oh, they'll have to skip the next hunt. What happened? If we do it to Lone Salt, they have to skip the next hunt. That's true. I mean, we Maelstrom, can just... yes, I do have a name for you on there. We can just take out all of the newbies with new awesome gear that they're just like, whoa! But if we're going to go fight like a white lion, I wouldn't mind bringing someone with three understanding to get... Ammonia. How like, to get PP? Like That's true. Straight up game. That's true. I mean, I'll be on the hunt. I don't have to skip it. Okay. So, uh, we'll give it to Lone Salt. Lone sure. Salt. So, Lone Salt's going to get plus one courage and speak the first words of the settlement. Add the white line to the quarry sheet of the settlement, and your settlement gains the language innovation. So, now we're going to build the innovation deck. Find six innovation cards. Shuffle the six cards together, place it face down, and uh, that's it. We don't, we don't innovate now, right? No. Okay, so Glowing Center. <sighs> Armed with language, the nominated survivor aptly names the Glowing Center of their home, the Lantern Horde. The settlement gains a Lantern Horde settlement sheet. Search the large settlement location sheet for Lantern Horde. The nominated survivor sits in front of the Lantern Horde in awe and gains plus one understanding. So give Lone Salt plus one understanding as well. So if we use... Oh, yeah, we have a Love Juice, too. 
Um, they must skip the next hunt, check that box, and return to complete the settlement phase. Return to the first story to complete the settlement phase. So, first story is where is that? It's is the, it? It's the, in the, the very front of the book. Yeah, the, the, that's everything. Okay, it just tells you how to play the game. Okay, cool. So that is going to be the end of tonight's episode of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death, right? You don't want to do the innovation? Oh, okay. Maybe make a baby. I, I guess. I guess so. Why not? So. So. Do we want to make a baby? Let's make a baby. Or do we want to hold on to the love juice? I think if we take survival of the fittest again, that will give plus stats because everyone gets plus one evasion, plus one strength. Yeah. To all the survivors. Yeah. Which is needed. Oh, oh, we'll get it right off the bat. That's right. I forgot about that. Uh, no, no, no. We we won. We actually did yep. it, and we reset with clinging mist. Yep. Might have cheated. Might have cheated. Maybe a little. So, what's cheating. the name of the settlement? Uh, the name of the settlement is Lost in the Mists of the Cheats. Something to that effect. We'll clarify. Eberron, can you uh, repeat your name that you chose? And this is all current and newborn survivors gain plus one strength and plus one evasion. So our current survivors that yeah. came back would get another plus one strength and evasion. Yeah. So stacks on stacks. They on technically stacks. get new rerolls then too. That's the once per lifetime. A survivor may reroll. It's once per lifetime. They have used it in their lifetime. Lost in the mists of cheats. Okay. Super survivors of the fittest. Hooah! Two times Tuesday. So, let's in innovate. So it's lost in the mists of, in the mist. of cheats. Of cheats. What do we have resources to innovate with? We have a hide. The, only, the problem is going to be... Or no, organ's fine, because we could use one of these stupid things. So we have a... I don't know. We don't have anything. An organ and a bone. I need a bone. Yeah, I bet you do. Um, We're going to have to fight the Sun Saga again before we can make any of your gear. Yeah. So Just... one of the huge sun teeth. Okay. Okie doke. The fact that there are resets in this game baffled me. It's fun, though. It's really fun going and hard resetting with all the upgraded gear. Yeah, and we'll probably, like, turn it up a notch, like, once we get dash. Yeah, we're going to we'll ramp it up really quick, probably. How will you label Lantern Years going forward? 1-1. Uh, one one. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, 1.2, something like that. Could be that. season 5.5. Yeah, there you go. Now Matt will never get his stuff. <laughs> yeah, he'll never get his stuff. He's going to wait like a whole like I eight know, years for the Sun Saga to come back. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. But we still have eight endeavors. Do we? Yeah. Oh, because we have Tinker. Yeah, we still... Oh, God, we're going to be spammed with endeavors. Uh, Grab two innovations. Just two? Storm so Climate is going to come back, Matt. Oh, look, pain. You're going to have to wait... And hopefully not your shit doesn't No, get we're going to beat the shit out of a... Oh, I hate you so much. Paint! And ammonia! Paint. Th paint. Th we're, no... we're taking paint. There's no... We're taking paint. Lantern year one, parentheses 19. So we're taking paint. So everyone's got dash now. Yes, we got dash, which is... That's really good. Pretty clutch. The only, the only thing is our survival limit's two. So we can't... Yeah. Too much. Yeah. All right. So we got that. <laughs> that was my ultimate plan to F Matt's bow. <laughs> Guys uh, are mean. We're going to make the skinnery. Oh, yeah. Three endeavors for that. The bone smith and the organ grinder, I guess? Yeah. So we have used four of our five of our eight endeavors. Yes. And then we're going to use the love juice. Doesn't come in a jar. So who's going to be the babies? Uh, so who's making babies? They took more gerb? Doesn't really matter. You can make it newbies because nothing's getting passed down. Yeah, nothing is getting passed down. So we'll use the love juice for this? Yeah, we're using love juice for that. Okay, so we're using the love juice. We're going to go and trigger the intimacy story event. So we're going to need a D10 to be rolled. Not one, not two, but one. So we're using the newbies, right? Um, yeah. Just yeah. in case something stupid happens. And what's eight. the roll? An eight. 
is the settlement gains plus one population. The male and the female survivors share a deep bond and gain plus ten survival each. Our survival limit is what? Two? Two. So they gain two survival each. Uh, yeah, Gorm Climate's going to suck. Uh, so we're going to get another baby. So Josh, I need another baby name. And I need another sheet. Do you want another male? Yeah. Uh, Master of the One Rolls. Master of the One Rolls. Is that Exelon? Eberron. Same thing. Uh, so they're a male. And survival limit of two. And now uh, we're going to trigger the principle of what? Um, new life. Principle of stuff. And things. So, we need to do without mercy or with affection. So, which one are we doing, Josh? What's up to chat? Chat, we're going to put up a poll for you all right now. Uh, do you want to do with, uh, with, without mercy or with affection? And then after this, I think, is when we're going to call it quits for the evening, right? Without mercy or what? Uh, with affection? With affection. Without mercy. With affection. Without mercy. Um, Chat, please vote on which one you would like. Survival of the fittest or protect the young. So survival of the fittest is going to give us super babies. And protect the young is going to give us uh, lots of babies. Can the dad die from baby making? Yes. For one is rolled. Why? Our survival limits at 11. Our survivals are at 11. Yeah. Seeing if it makes sense to try to make more babies. Or we make snow noses. Without mercy. That's pretty it, much. Yeah, it looks like we're doing without mercy. So we're going to do survival of the fittest. So we're going to need a D10 to be rolled. And in the meantime, uh, this is going to... Our survival limit goes up. All of our... Okay, yeah, our survival limit goes up. And we're all going to gain plus one strength and plus one evasion. Right? Yeah. So we have, like, plus three evasion, That's naturally. Ridiculous. A 10. Uh, the child is raised as a pure warrior, leaving compassion and fear behind. The newborn survivor gains two courage, the tough fighting art, and one random disorder. So, chat, we're going to need a random disorder to be pulled. Uh, where is that Cards. at? Cards. Cards. Disorder. So, two courage. Uh, yeah, we do have our new games, new giveaways tonight. What is tough? Uh, tough is plus one to severe injury rolls. Plus one severe injury. Uh, spiral gang... Ganglia. Spiral Ganglia. At the start of the showdown, gain the darkness awareness. Spiral Ganglia. No more Slender Man. <laughs> we did the Dark Order research for nothing. We did. Oh, well. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, so that is the end of that. So they're going to have one strength and one evasion, right? Yep. With that, call it a, let's i think it's time to call it a night no more baby we're not gonna try to make more babies beginning of next stream do is that the idea though or do we want to just make stone noses or let's something? think about it okay so chat thank you all for joining us this evening this is going to be the end of this week's episode of twitch plays kingdom death so first and foremost to see what's going on the rest of the week please follow us on facebook twitch twitter youtube instagram and come chat with us in our discord channel where it never stops. Woohoo! Uh, and in there, you can find all the cool things going on in the stream, such as our stream schedule. Like tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, we're going to be doing our continuation of the Great Game Hunters podcast, where we go through the ins and outs of Kingdom Death uh, with our fantastic collaborator, Fen. If you like the minis that you saw on here as well, Fen painted all of them. He does amazing work. Uh, and he has a Patreon set up, so you can show your support to him. Uh, is he still doing a sale right now, or did that end? I think so. Okay. I haven't heard anything. I think he's still doing it. Uh, and in the episode of the Great Game Hunters podcast, we're going to be talking about The Flower Knight, one of my favorite expansions. Um, let's see, what else is going on? We're in the middle of a sub drive right now, so definitely encourage other people to sub. Sub if you are not a sub. I've seen a lot of the icons and chats. You guys have been doing a great job with it. We're doing a lot of giveaways all throughout the sub drive uh, at all the major milestones. At a The next 100 sub mark, that's 200 subs, we're going to be doing the giveaway of the 3D printed one-of-a-kind Halloween White Speaker, signed by Adam Poots. 300 subs are doing the 3D printed oversized Nightmare Ram Skull from the KDM mm -hmm. facility. 400 subs is a surprise, and 500 subs is the 3D over 3D printed oversized bust of the Black Knight, signed by Adam Poots as well. His name is Jamal. <clears throat> 
Uh, as a reminder, if you have Amazon Prime, you have Twitch Prime, which means you get one free sub every month. And if you've done it before, it does not do it automatically, so you have to go back and do it again the old-fashioned way. And then finally, you see all these crazy things happening in the stream. You can redeem points that you get from watching, from throwing bits and tipping, to uh, redeem cool things in the stream element store, such as naming survivors, um, creating disorders, fighting arts, events, bunch of stuff, yep. even gear. Which, the gear's still there, we just haven't made it yet, but like, yeah, we'll get there. to it eventually, we Good promise. Um, and then other upcoming stuff, so on Monday at 8pm Eastern Time, we're going to be doing our spotlight of Vengeance by Greenbrier Games, joined with possibly Julie? Maybe Walter. Maybe Walter? Who knows? They're the same person, who knows? Uh, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time is the continuation of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. And then next week, Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time is more Double Death for you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, and then finally, we would like to point out that this stream and all of this week's streams are sponsored by Mask of the Red Death by IDW. Big shout out to them for being a sponsor. They are awesome. The game is awesome. If you haven't had a chance to check out our spotlight of that yet, go check out our spotlight on Video On Demand, on Twitch, and on YouTube. We had a lot of fun with that. And they're currently live on Kickstarter now, so definitely go and check them out. Show your support. Back the game for even just a dollar. Share it to all your friends. Get it out there, because it was a lot of fun. Uh, and finally, we are in the middle of the New Year New Games giveaway. We're going to be doing one at the end of the stream after we sign off. <clears throat> after we sign off today. Ooh, almost had a good there. You almost had that synonym. Yeah. Synonym? Synonym? Synonym. Yeah. Uh, new Year New Games giveaway. We're going to be giving away one game at the end of all of our major streams this month. So check out uh, in just a few minutes for that. But other than that, I think that's it, right? I think so. So thank you all for joining us this evening. This is Twist Gaming signing off. Stay tuned for the giveaway. I'm Matt. I'm Josh. Have a good night, everyone, and take care. Good night.